Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to some more Sands of Aura. Today it is finally fully releasing. The 1.0 has been released uh, about uh, two hours ago. It has been uh, super exciting to see people uh, starting to play the game and um, you know joining the Discord and whatnot because I uh, I am keeping track of all that as well. So um, yeah, we are here. And we are going to be playing a new update. Now, I don't think much is going to change uh, for us in like the, the, the next couple of hours. Uh, we will probably still be playing through all the early access gameplay. Uh, because we weren't that far into our save file yet to be able to, um, to get to the new stuff today, probably. But uh, we're going to try. We're gonna see how we do. I know I have at least two bosses to fight today. Or no, actually three, because two bosses are together and then one separately. One at the Flare Forge, one at, uh, two at the Radix. Um, so it's gonna be uh, exciting. Um, I do not know how long it's gonna take for me to, uh, to beat them, but we'll see. <laughs> right, let's get this party started. Let's log in. And hopefully you will do well. I have been uh, logging in a little bit earlier today as well. Uh, and I grinded a little bit of glint. Not much. I uh, did like two or three upgrades to armor and or spell blade. So really not that much. But I did a little bit of work. A little bit of extra work. Also, um, recently, uh, recently Twitch adjusted their like multicasting, simulcasting rules. Um, I, I'm not sure, uh, they have like crazy weird guidelines for it at the moment. I'm not sure if I am uh, following those guidelines properly at the moment, but whatever. I'm streaming on Twitch right now as well. I'm streaming on both YouTube and Twitch again, like I always used to. Um, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I don't know if anybody is going to watch anything on, uh, on Twitch because I haven't streamed there in literal ages. But uh, we'll see. Uh, why is my controller not working right now? Oh boy. Oh boy. Hold on a second. That will be annoying if my controller did not work. Oh no, there you go. Okay, cool. I was worried that the update might have, uh, might have effed it up. <laughs> but no, we're good. Nothing to worry about. Bad Boy Gamer, good to see you. Baptism, good to see you as well. Welcome. And uh, thanks for all the people watching right now and lurking in the chat. Hitting that like. There is a 40% discount right now on Sands of Aura. Uh, in the next 7 days after release. So um, it is, uh, I believe the normal price is 25 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Euro anyway. I don't know what it is in dollars. But yeah, 25 Euro I believe. Uh, and right now I believe it is f around 15 somewhere. Let me double check that before I say anything stupid. But uh, I think it's something like that. Yeah, normal price, 25 euro. And right now it is 15 euro. So a 40% discount on that, which is amazing. I really like the game. I highly recommend uh, anybody who you know has enjoyed some of the gameplay on this. Um, that, they, uh, that they get that now. And I've actually been considering maybe w uh, gifting it to some of my Steam friends if they have it wishlisted. So if you're watching this and you are a, s a friend on Steam, wishlist the game right now and maybe uh, maybe after the stream or at the end of the stream I might decide to, um, to gift a Sands of Aura copy or two to uh, some of my Steam friends. If you are not Steam friends, um, well, you can look me up. Booster Doom on uh, on Steam uh, should be um, should be able to get that. I'm not sure if I have that in my. I'm not sure if I have that in my um, my my like link thingy. My name in there, but you should be able to find my my Twitch in there. My Twitch is basically the exact same uh, username as my Steam. So there you go. Anyway. Let's start playing. Kingbo, good to see you as well. Welcome. Hello there, hello. Monica, hello. Done. Nice, nice. Awesome. 
<laughs> Alright, where are we in the game? What do we have? We only have 300 glint, not that much. We have a ton of gear that I'm never gonna use. Let's put that gear in, uh, in a chest, because we have so much gear. Um, let's see. Ferrum Steel Jacket, I do not want to use that one, because I want to use the helmet and the gloves. Sorry for the cups. <laughs> Lol, you're writing it incorrectly. That's funny. Typo. <laughs> you tried to say sorry for the caps, but you said cups. Awesome. Alright, let's put the ferrum jacket in there. Ferrum steel grease, because we want to have the um, the gloves and the helmet from that set. Uh, I'm going to put all of this away. All of that away. Yes, all of that can go. Oh, went a little bit too far. I could sell them as well, but I don't want to do that just yet. Because maybe, maybe I feel like changing at some point, you know? And I do want to keep them. Here's the helmet. I already bought the helmet today, earlier. Uh, I, as I said, I grinded some glint. And I um, bought the helmet and I upgraded it as well. As you can see, it's now level 6. Uh, I want to upgrade it a little bit more. But yeah, at least we have a level 6 going. So that's good. That's pretty, pretty good. And, okay, that's all the items you wanted to put in there. Awesome. Lura, good to see you. Welcome. <laughs> You'll have a cup of that, Kingbo. Nice. I'll have a cup of uh, tea. Ah, wonderful. I got some um, mango sort of tea today. Pretty good. I don't have a lot because I forgot to uh, make extra right before the stream. I was a little bit occupied with some other stuff, so I only have like two cups maybe. Uh, so that will have to be enough for the stream. And otherwise I'm gonna have to get some water in between, maybe. We'll see. 91 leads, good to see you as well. Welcome, welcome. Did I say hello to Lelora yet? I'm not sure, but hello Lelora. Hello, hello. Same, your tea is finished, don't want to get up right now. Yeah, you shouldn't. I mean, I started my stream, so there's there's no way you can get up and leave. Unless you can bring the screen with you. Then you're allowed. Alright, let's see. What helmet level is this? This is level 5. Yeah, that's level 6. But we first want to find the... Um, first want to find the gloves of the Therum as well. Because I want to get that bonus. Without the bonus, it's not worth switching right now. So uh, we're going to have to wait and... Wait until we find that one. Um, yes, let's let's go. Let's go, I guess. Let's get going. I'm not looking forward to the boss fights. Actually, I am, but at the same time, I'm not. You know what I mean? I am looking forward to beating their asses, but at the same time, I'm not looking forward to being beat on my ass. If you know what I mean. Because that will happen. I am not good with those with those two fights. Well, the the twin fight I, I is is doable, I guess. But the fight at um, the fight at the um, the forge, the flare forge, oof. That one I am not looking forward to. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> That's gonna be a tough one. That's really gonna be a tough one. Ah, uh, but hopefully it will be good. Loading, loading. What's taking so long? Usually it's uh, quite fast. It's taking in a little while. Oh, there you go. Awesome. At least it loaded. <laughs> Um, do we finally have access to that chest here? I remember it being locked. But I don't know what type of key we need for it. We found a key, I remember, but I don't think that was the right one. Yeah, it's still locked. Can we not just smash it? No. Oh, well, we can smash these ones. I guess that's, that's good as well. <laughs> that's pretty fun. I love doing that in games. Just destroying everything. 
All right, let's get back to where we need to be. Also, I changed some of the uh, audio settings of the stream. Uh, I don't know if I am um, of my voice like too low, too high, or the game is too low, too high. Uh, let me know. I, I made some changes because I noticed when I um, <clears throat> I noticed when I was recording uh, the footage for my video that I made today uh, or that I released today is that my like my default audio volume is like really high, uh, higher than I would like it to be. So I, I lowered all of that a little bit. Oh. That's a new move. What the hell did he do? Yeah, I really like this armor set that we have going right now. The um, the scale mill armor... Uh, armor blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? <laughs> the set bonus. The dodging into an enemy deals uh, 0.5 weapon damage and stuns them for three... Uh, and has a cooldown for three seconds. That one is really useful. I've been really enjoying using that one. And then when we have the Ferrum one, <clears throat> it's gonna be even better. Because the Ferrum will give us more damage dealt if we successfully dodge an attack. So we can do both at the same time, right? We can dodge an attack, do damage with our dodge, and then if we dodged properly, we do extra damage for the next 8 seconds. That is huge. It's gonna be so good. Such a good combination. Galen, good to see you there. Welcome. Booster stream is best stream. Hello, everyone. How have you been, Galen? It's been a little while since I saw you here. Hope you're doing good, my friend. I've missed all your jokes. Oh, God, I gotta heal. Okay. Get wrecked. Oh, didn't get wrecked. Never mind. There you go. Now get wrecked. Awesome. Oh. We almost died there. That was not, wasn't good. Okay, which way do we have to go? Uh, I think we have to go up the stairs there to continue. Oh, I forgot about that stun. Got to heal. Nice. It's a Sacramite dust. Awesome. Also, I'm a little bit close to the screen. Hold on. Gotta readjust my chair a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> Alright. That's a little better. I was a little bit too close. Oh, right. This area. Yep. I completely forgot we left off over here. Um, okay, which one do we need to take? That one? Let's see. Hey, that one goes up there. Yep. Um, I think this is the one that went to where we needed to go. And then this one goes... Like one of the items? Question mark? Let's see. Let's wait for the elevator thingy. It takes a while for them sometimes. Oh, here it comes. There you go. All right. Gonna have to be careful. Because there's like a jumpy puzzle as well. Gonna have to jump over this. Good. Alright, now over here. There's nothing else there, I believe. Oh god, now we're gonna have to jump here. Okay, that's good. It's not that hard. And... Oh, that just brings us back here, right. Okay. Um, yeah, so then we're gonna we're gonna have to do this one. Let's wait for that one to come back. Takes a while. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, there we go. Here it is. That one was a little bit harder to see than the other ones. I felt like it was a little bit lower than, uh, than the rest.
Oh, there's some items there. How do you how do you get up there? And uh, here we have to jump and get across. Ooh, that was close. All right. Well, we made it. Oh, hello. All right. We got one of them. Ooh. Heal, 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 heal. Okay. My god. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> parkour? Yeah. Yeah, it was parkour. Hardcore parkour. Ooh. Alright, that one's not gonna be fun. Our spell blade up. Oh, that completely missed. A heal. Gotta block this dude. Barry, I should say. Come on. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Flare key. One of the few rare keys to open up locks something else. I couldn't read the rest of it. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, where are we are now? Go back this way. Been here before in another playthrough, but I kind of forgotten. Oh wait, we missed an item. There you go. Also, is there something over here that I can do? Uh, can I jump on the side there, maybe? I know we missed an item back there, but I'm not sure how to get there. Hey, Scott, you're watching on Twitch now as well. Nice. Yeah, I, uh, I decided to start streaming on Twitch again, because recently they changed the um, multi-streaming rules again. Not sure if I'm adhering by their guidelines properly, um, because they keep changing the rules and whatnot, but we'll see. Uh, if my Twitch account gets banned, then who cares? <laughs> As long as my YouTube account is fine, then I don't care about that one too much, to be honest. Alright, let's heal up. Alright, let's go. Ah. Keep forgetting about that stun! Now you're stumped. There you go. Sweet. Not even an item from him. Alright, pick up the Ther- Ooh, the Therum Codex! Yes, that one is good, I believe. Your normal attacks deal 25% more damage while Spellblade is active. Oh wait, I'm confusing with another one. I thought it was the Ashari. Ashari is the one that I am thinking about. I love that one. That one's real good. Alright, let's uh, get over here. Oh, pick up Relic. Didn't know there was a relic hiding behind those uh, those things. There you go. But thanks for everybody watching. See, we have six people on Twitch, seven on uh, YouTube. Thanks for being here, hanging out. Hope you're enjoying the game. And there's a 40% discount on Sense of Aura right now. A launch discount. So if you want to get it, uh, get it within the next seven days. And if you add me as a friend on Steam and wishlist the game, I might even gift it to some of my Steam friends. So, um, yeah, if you're interested, wishlist the game on Steam right now, add me as a friend, and you might be one of the lucky ones. Where does this go? Oh, that goes over here. Ah. Okay. Okay, that's where this goes to. Right, so now we have a shortcut to this area. Awesome. Uh, which we really need because we have no health left. Um, um, yeah, I'm probably not even going to survive that fight. 
Oh, no, yep. I knew it. I knew that Vortex was gonna happen. <laughs> Use code booster? No, there's no code booster, unfortunately. I wish Steam had a, uh, had a code for creators. If Steam had a code for creators, it would have been huge. But... Sansavara is also available on uh, on Epic. So yeah, actually on Epic you can use code Booster. That's right. I mean, it won't give you a discount. A discount should already be there, I think, on Epic as well. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if there's also a 40% on Epic. I know on Steam for sure. I'm not sure if the the game is also on a discount on Epic, but you could use you could use code Booster and then. Um, yeah, we'll help out the channel as well, so I would greatly appreciate it. Alright, we lost 2,000 glint, that's no problem. We can get that back. No problemo. I just have to find where that location was. Was that up here? I think it was up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, Vortex thing. Jeez. That one is crazy. It takes a long time as well. Nice, we did it. Got our stuff back. Sweet! Alright, where to now? Um... This way? Yes, this way. This is where we're supposed to go. Looks like there's an item there. Rabbit. Some lakes for upgrades. Always useful. And was there anything down that way? Let's defeat these guys. It's only one hit under dead. There's a medallion. Good. Anything else back here? Oh. Electricity. Ooh, there's a chest down there. Can we safely get down that way? I'm scared. Let's do it. Alright, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, there's an enemy. Alright, that means we're going the right way. <laughs> That's what that means. Our heal. No! Oops! <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. Okay, well, it happens. Uh, how's the gameplay? I, uh, I think the gameplay is good. I like the game. I've been playing it for like 70 hours now in early access. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it thoroughly. It's a lot of fun. Usually I don't really enjoy like top-down type of games. Um, though this is more... I don't know. I... I it, it's not... It is not really top-down, but it also is. You know, you can zoom in a little bit. If you prefer to be a little bit closer to the character. Um, I don't know. It's, it's sort of a different view, I guess. But yeah, usually I don't play these types of games. But I, uh, I love it. Having a lot of fun with this game. I would highly recommend it to anybody who's uh, into like Souls type games or action RPG and that kind of stuff. I believe somebody compared it to like Zelda type games as well. I never played Zelda games myself, so I couldn't really tell you. But um, I believe there was a uh, there was a um, there was a news article published by Rock Paper Shotgun about this game and uh, they mentioned I think Wind Walker or something like that I think that is from Zelda right? I don't know again I have no idea I never played Zelda <laughs> I'm just guessing alright back this way now we need to just make sure that we don't fall to our deaths again that's all we gotta do. Make sure we don't die. Shouldn't be that hard. Right? Should not be that hard. Mm, 
Is there a better way of going down than I did before? I don't think so. Alright, there you go. Slowly. Try not to take any fall damage. Okay, there's my glint. Awesome, awesome. There you go, special attack. Kill them all. All at once. Oh boy. Nice, got him. And we got the chest. Hell yeah. Hey, and the Ferrum Gauntlets. There they are. Sweet. Can we make that jump back? Uh, I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to use the bell to get out of here. There you go. Bro Gamer moves right there. Bro Gamer moves. We got the Ferrum Gauntlet. Sweet. So now we can level that one up, and then we can start using that armor. Uh, we have 4,000 glint. That's not that much. Let's see. We have three of the rings, one of the amulets, two medallions. Okay, I might be able to do some upgrades on it. But it's probably not gonna, gonna be that great right now. We're gonna have to grind some more glint first. Yeah, the new Zelda, uh, not the older ones, kinda. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I never played any of them. Never played any Zelda games. The only Zelda that I played was in... Um, was in um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Where you can play Zelda as a character. <laughs> That's the only Zelda that I played. Um, yeah, let's upgrade over here. What do you need? There you go. We can do the gauntlets. Sweet. Boom. Already level 6. Awesome. So that is higher than our current ones. Good. That means we can switch them out immediately. Let's go to the rune carver. Let's get rid of those runes and switch them out. Might also be able to upgrade our runes, actually. Because earlier today I bought some uh, blue runes from one of the traders. Travel well, young knight. For the purpose of dismantling them. And getting like that dust. So that'll be good. Alright, dismantle these ones. The health runes. And get rid of the gauntlet ones, the critical damage. Sweet. Then I want to switch my armor immediately so we don't forget. Oh yeah, look at that. I love that helmet. That Ferrum helmet is great. The chest plate and stuff for the Ferrum is also really good. But uh, I want to use both of these buffs. So we're just going to deal with, with this right now. Still pretty cool. I like the character. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so we want to level up our health and our critical runes if possible. Let's see. Uh, so first... Can we sort this? Oh, it is already sorted. Oh, yeah. It's already sorted. Cool. Um, let's see. Let's get rid of one of those. Actually, no, I should have kept that one. Damn, that was dumb. That was dumb. Get rid of that one. 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 Uh, armor penetration, do I want to keep that one? I guess I could for now. Haste, I don't care about. You can get rid of the haste. Uh, this critical, we don't care. This critical, we don't care. Actually, one of them we do. I want to keep one of those. And special attack, special attack. There we go, we have a lot of these blue ones. Those are the ones that we bought earlier. Uh, let's keep one of them. Let's get rid of those spell blades. All right, cool. Awesome. So now we have 89 of that like dust stuff. Let's see if we can upgrade our health to a red. Or no, purple, I mean. There you go. One, two. Boom. That took almost all the dust already. That's unfortunate. And I will do a critical one as well. 
We can only do one of them. All right, that's fine. It's still an upgrade. It's still good. It's still good. So the health on the helmet. There you go. And a critical. And a blue critical as well. There you go. So now we're a little bit stronger. We have a different armor, different set bonus, and uh, slightly more health and slightly more crit damage. That's awesome. But we're going to have to upgrade all of them eventually. But it's a good start. Let's get rid of this armor now as well. Let's put Travel it in this well, chest. Won't need it anymore for now. And... Come take a look. Let's sell some of the stuff that we don't need. So that we can upgrade some more. Let's see, we have 2,000 glint right now. Can I upgrade my armor with that at all? Um, <clears throat> um, 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 maybe once. Yeah. Travel well, maybe once. Nice Let's give it a try, I guess. But uh, yeah, for those who are uh, who are new to Sands of Aura, I also released a video earlier today explaining like what the game kind of is in a very basic sort of way. But um, I think I, I think I hit a little bit of everything to uh, to get people interested about the game and um, what do you need? Just information for people who would like to know more. So just take a look at the channel if you want to watch that. You want to learn some more about the game. Uh, let's see, let's upgrade the helmet first, I guess, doesn't really matter. Thank you for putting the Discord in chat there, Solar, I appreciate it. You love the original uh, Zelda games, Lura? The newest Zelda games are like for Switch only though, right? The newest ones. Uh, let's see, let's go to Flare Forge again. We need to upgrade our weapon again soon, because I'm starting to feel a little weak compared to some of these enemies. Some of them are real strong. I mean, we can take them. There you go. Especially one on one, we can take them. But I'm a little worried. That's also because I don't block enough and bury them. Suck at it. I'm not quite sure what to do for this guy. You will not have them. Like he's like, you will not have them, but I I don't know what he wants. I don't know what he wants from me. Um I had to go up this way. Hey, crispy bacon. Good to see ya. I do a little heal. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, it's not popping up on the stream yet, but yeah, thank you very much for the 15 months of being a member. That's amazing. I appreciate it. I really wish that Streamlabs would uh, would be a little faster with those little notifications. It would have been great. I'm 
miss any items? I feel like I might be missing out on some. Oh yeah, there's one down there. It's worth going back for? I don't know. Sacramite leg. I guess with I guess I guess it's good. Alright, get back up here. Ba -ba -da. Oh, and there's one over here as well. Cool, cool. This way. Well, oh, hello. What have we here? Felnix, the unbridled flame. I don't know how to pronounce that name. <laughs> What have we here? A ferrum twists unnaturally. The ferrum. Let me guess. A righteous aim engraved in temperance? One to quell that wolfish fire? What are you doing back here? Enjoying the view. Nothing like a storm to stir the spirit. What do you mean? That I'm glad to see you. One can only distract themselves for so long. Who are you? A mediator of honesty, of embrace. Cleo Nexus, the unbridled flame. The, fer the ferrum looks you over, ga its gaze lingering. Yes, yes. I sense the stink of his cowardice the moment I saw you. Who? No doubt Cathexis failed to mention me. And what did he tell you of the flare? That he found it, nurtured it, but it became corrupt. Lies! The inferno of his mouth and eyes swell with intensity. To have reaped such rewards! To have tasted that which the soul craves! Only to run from it? To curl under useless phrasing? The Azure Flare was created by Cathexis. He did not find it. After his banishment and in his hunger for power, he plucks the Azure Flare from his own spirit. A splendid flame which he used to begin his precious forge. Mm. Yet fire is only a reflection of its source. Perhaps you've already noticed the particularities, the specificity of those manifestations dancing near the coveted fragments. They are the joint manifestations of his desires and fears. Cathexus seeks to smother this forge. He would destroy the coveted fragments to strangle the desire within himself. But you and I are a flicker of the same flame. Bring me the coveted fragments. Help me stoke the flames. And in return, I shall forge you armors which that pathetic Pharum could never fathom. Hmm, let me think about it. You don't trust me? I'm harmed beyond measure. Run and check with your master, then. I will be here when you recover your spine. <laughs> Okay, so some of the quests in the game will uh, split up into like different uh, branches basically, right? And that's what's happening here. Like I have a chance to give it to this guy or I have a chance to give it to the, the other Ferrum. Ooh, this is gonna be tough to... Oh, Alright, there you go. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, made it. Relic, chalice. How much glint is chalice? Two thousand? Two thousand, hey, that was correct. Awesome. Now, is there anything else back here? Can I like jump down? 
Probably shouldn't do that. Can I walk back up? I hope so. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go through this again. And have to teleport back. But I think we're good. I think we got it. Just nice and slow. Awesome. We did it! What's over here? Ah, yes, this part. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is gonna be tricky. Alright, was there a door here? Where does this go? Um, oh, that's this part. Okay, yes. Ah, yes, that is this part. Cool. Okay. Oh, and here we're gonna have to jump. Um, probably have to do it from the other side. Probably be better. This is gonna be tricky, another little jump puzzle. Sort of. We're gonna have to make it across over to that one. Ooh, that was close. We're gonna have to get to the middle. Um, it's probably easier to do this. Almost flew off. There you go. Okay, good. Got it! And now here we can walk on top of. And there's a little puzzle. So we have to fight these dudes near these, like, crystals. And then we'll move around the, uh... It will move around the things underneath. We have to line them up perfectly. Um, let's see, how do we have to line them up again? These arrows are pointing towards the left. Just like these ones. Yes, yeah, so that is good. So this one has to stay the way it is. Um, we're gonna have to do this one first. Let's do them one by one. All these enemies have to go and follow me here. Come on, hurry up, bro. Hurry up. I don't have all day. Alright, so that should go into the crystal. Yep. And that one flies this way. Alright, it's not proper yet, so... Oh, that wasn't enough. Guess we have to go a little closer. There you go. Is that turning? No, not yet. Not yet enough. One more. One more big one. There you go. Nice. So now this is a good line over here. And we have to get the next one. Which is... This one right here. Alright, we need one more. Sweet, that one is done. And then now this one over here. It should be good. Nice. And another one in the middle. And now we should have completed this. Oh, that's a turn a little bit more. Sweet, we did it.
and that will bring us to the boss fight. Which I am not looking forward to. <laughs> uh, was there anything else back here? Nope, nothing else back there. Alright. Let's get down, I guess. Um, this way. Hello there, Epic Mod. How's the game? I just saw it on Steam. I was thinking of getting it. I love it, Epic Mod, but uh, I may be biased because I've been playing it for the last, like, I've been playing it for 70 hours during the early access period. Um, but uh, yeah, I uh, I really like it. I think it's a great game. I have been having a lot of fun with it. And uh, right now there's a 40% discount on uh, Steam and whatnot. So it's definitely worth getting with the discount for sure. And I mean, if you don't like it, you can always you can always give it back, right? If you play for like one hour and you don't like it, you can always decide to, uh, to say that you'll... Uh, that you'll give it back, that you'll ask a, a refund. But I would highly recommend it. I think if you like Souls-type games or action-adventure types games, um, apparently it's very similar to, like, Wind Walker from Zelda or whatever. Uh, if you like those, then you'll definitely like this one. Ooh. Wasn't sure if I was gonna survive that. <laughs> um, did I did I miss the shortcut? Did I walk past it? I think I might have walked past it. Or I went in the opposite direction. I think. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. Item. Nice. Gonna have to fight all these dudes. One by one, these are fairly easy. Luckily, they don't attack that quickly. Ooh, I need a heal. Alright, we're good. Special attack. We survived! Did I miss any items? It's kind of hard to see items on this uh, floor with like all the blue particles flying around. Uh, okay, it looks cool. You think you're gonna get it? Awesome. Yeah, I, I really like it. I would recommend it for sure. Ooh. This Vortex uh, is very, very strong. I also made a video on YouTube about it, Epic Mod. I am uh, streaming to both YouTube and Twitch. But uh, I made a video uh, last night, which I uploaded to YouTube, uh, about like some of the things about the game. So um, if you look at my uh, YouTube channel and you you want to have some more information about like the first hour of the game, approximately, then uh, you'll you'll find that there. Let's see, does she have anything? She has critical rune sockets. Or, uh, not sockets. <laughs> just critical runes, I mean. Uh, we do need one more, I guess, for if we're gonna upgrade to the next level. But for now, that'll be fine. Didn't we get the lantern? I thought we got the lantern already. Oh yeah, we do. We have the lantern right there. Apparently she has a second one. Huh. Okay. All right, let's get back down here. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. I really gotta learn to block more. I just keep forgetting. And when I do block, I completely miss it. <laughs> Is there a spear stuck in me? Oh my. 
That is... <laughs> that is freaking huge. Nice. Very good, very good. Alright, and we made it back to this area now. You talk to him about the main quest. Oh, why are you following me? Cannot heal anymore. There you go. Cool. Not sure where that one came from. What's up, dude? Despite our agreement, you have ignored my warnings. Carrying temptation about you like precious stones. No doubt you've spoken with Cleonexus then. Heard his promises. Yes, you lied to me. I will admit, I should have been truthful from the start. Should you allow it, we can start again. Fine. Tell me the truth. I have spent much time avoiding my reflection in the metal high shape. But Pleonexus does not deceive you in mentioning my sin. I created the Azure Flare. Where would you like me to start? Hmm. You were banished? There are such Faron who believe our craftsmanship belongs purely to our people. Yet there were those who challenged this. I was taught to have compassion for any who appreciates the quality of my craft. Eventually, I was exiled to this mine for that belief. Hmm. You made the Azor Flare. I do not blame myself for creating it. Alone in the darkness, isolated, with only the fire within myself to keep me. To wrench from your own essence is not the difficult part. To seize the very fire of desire and to let it burn relentlessly. It was precision I lacked. I underestimated what it would take to keep the flare controlled. Tell me about the covered, covered fragments. They are fragments of a fragment. If I could create the Azure Flare, I believed I could generate a means of containing it. To temper the spread, I tried to encase the flare within a shell of gemstone. When such means shattered, the fragments themselves became tainted with manifestations of my rampant want. Hmm. What about the, um, Lenix, dude? Cleonexus is Cleonexus. unhindered. Born of the flare when it became aware of my intentions to stop it. He exists as the purest form of desire and pursuit, with nothing else measured. No restraint. It has taken much of me to confine him. That said, no doubt he has informed you of his skills at the forge. He is truthful. They are unmatched. But craftsmanship lies not only in what is made, but also in what is refused. All right, I have all I need. Please. I have worked to temper myself. I want only to extinguish the fire of this place. If you would give me the coveted fragments, I will forge for you a set of armor to represent your place amongst my people. A symbol of our newfound friendship. Alright, I'll see what I can find. I see. Should you reconsider, please return to me with the fragments. Otherwise, continue your pursuit of the Azure Flare. Alright. Do I not have all the fragments already? Please. I see. Should you? Hmm. Am I missing fragments then? Um, let's see. Uh, Decree of Justice... I thought I had... 
multiple of them. Volume of Praise, yeah, those two. So I guess there is a third one? Let's see, is that in here somewhere? Ba -ba -ba. Return to the Grave, no, Moss Book. Defeat the Flare Knight. Do I not have a quest about those? Hmm. Am I missing like an entire part of this this world? This island? Wait, hold on. We did find keys before. There's one. We we find we found a key yesterday, and we also found a key earlier today. Bellwater key, flare key. Interact with the environment. And I remember there being a gate over here as well. Maybe I can unlock that gate now? And that will lead me to... Something? No? Still can't go there. Okay. That's unfortunate. I'm not sure how to get over there. Hmm... I must be missing something. And that chest I cannot open, right? Oh wait, we cannot we can open it now. Talisman of Lith Repose? Let's see. Increases the bearer's parry window by 20%. Oh, that makes parrying easier? Ooh, that is good. That makes it a lot easier to parry uh, enemies. I will probably switch to that. Unless it takes a lot of talisman slots. If it takes a lot of talisman slots, then uh, that, that, that'll be too bad. Alright, let's go back to Starspire for a sec. Because I want to see if we can change to that talisman, maybe. And we also have some upgrades we can probably do. And while we're there, let me quickly take a look at something. Ba -ba -dum, ba -ba -bum. Ooh, there's a lot of messages to catch up on later. All right, and see any messages over here? Ba, ba, ba. All right, cool, cool, cool. Ah, nice. Sense of aura is in uh, new and trending as well at the moment. Like an hour ago. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. It's gonna be awesome. I'm glad that they got some uh, some more eyes on the game. Ba, ba, ba. Take a look at how many people are playing the game right now. Uh, 65. 65 people are playing the game at this, r at this moment. Pretty cool. Hopefully they'll become a lot more, because they definitely deserve it, I think. I think they deserve it. You've done a great job at it. Uh, oh wait, no, the other way. I want to go to the talisman lady. To the priestess. I'm going to go all the way up here. I don't know if we have any more... We have any more uh, scriptures? Hopefully. Ah, nice. We unlocked another. We unlocked another talisman slot. This book of scripture cool. has a. You would be playing it right now, but something else keeping you busy. Yeah, I am keeping you busy. You're watching the live stream. That's why. Blame it all on me. <laughs> this book of scripture has They're probably at work or something, right? Oh, nice! It only cost one slot. Ah, sweet! 
Oh, that's great. So now we have a 20% a bigger uh, parrying window. So it's a lot easier to parry enemies now. Awesome. That's going to be great, especially for the next boss fights. It's going to be amazing. Um, ooh. This one is going to be good, too. That works really well with my armor. When completing a perfect dodge of an attack that would have otherwise done damage, the bearer receives corruption. That'll be good. Because corruption is necessary for uh, making those special attacks. So having more corruption gain is actually really good. But I would have to replace it for something else. Um, like... Immovable object while blocking, poise damage taken while blocking will be reduced by 20%. Yeah. The magnet, I could probably get rid of the magnet. I have been enjoying having the magnet because you just have to walk around a lot less to gather stuff. But it's not necessary. I could definitely replace it with uh, another one. Um... Yeah, let's replace uh, the talisman. Can we remove? There you go. And add that one. So now we got the extra corruption. Sweet. Yep, working, doing double time. Nice. Gotta earn that money for my uh, memberships. <laughs> but I will wait for booster tips videos and ace this game. Sweet. Yeah, I'll be making some more videos on this game. I'll try to make some more guides. Um, either later today I might try to record something, or tomorrow. Um, I don't know. Not sure yet. Depends on how tired I am after the stream, but yeah. I'll definitely be doing something. Uh, let's go this way. Ba -ba -ba. Let's go see the trader. And did we get any more runes? No, not really. Not really. Come take a look. Let's see, Galena. Let's sell this one. And I probably want to upgrade. We have five thousand, almost six thousand glint. Uh, what what is my armor looking right now? Armor, we still have green helmet and yeah, level six Ferrum. All right, so one more level up for the Ferrum and then two more level ups for the Godlets, uh, helmet and Godlets. Probably not gonna have enough glint for both of those, but I could get the helmet to a blue level, I guess. Uh, and I think I need 8,000 glint for the next weapon upgrade. Plus, I'm gonna need, like, eight of these blue ones, I believe, too. Let's buy those. It's a little expensive, but I'll get them. Do we have any more bells? We have five bells. Alright, so we don't need to buy those, per se. It's not necessary. Alright, that'll be good for now. Let's go to the forge and see if we can do some upgrades. Here we are. What do you need? And yeah, we need. Oh, we don't need eight thousand. But yeah, we do need eight. Uh, we do need eight of those uh, blue. Actually, you guys can't really see it, but yeah, we need eight of these blue um, upgrade materials. And five thousand five hundred for uh, glint to upgrade this one to the next level, and then it will be a purple one. So that's going to be freaking awesome. Alright, but first upgrade this one. There you go. Now that one is blue. And we can upgrade this one once. And we need a little bit more glint for a second upgrade. And then we have all blue gear, which is great. Because that gives us another armor um, or rune slot, I mean. Do we have another health rune stone? No, we do not. Um... 
I guess temporarily I can do the crit damage on that one. There you go. We'll temporarily put that one on there. Extra crit damage. Never hurts anyone, except for my enemies, obviously. <laughs> it definitely hurts them. All right, let's go somewhere. We can also do some side quest instead of because uh, we're kind of done in the well. We're not done in the Flare Forge area. We still have those bosses, the, the boss to beat, and in Radix as well. So yeah, we have a boss in Radix Stronghold. We have a boss in Flare Forge, but we also have a mission of going to the Lost Library, which is here, I believe, right there. We have a little side mission for that. Um, this one. Remains of Redemption. Retrieve the modest black book from the lost library and return it to Fern. You can do that mission quickly. Let's get on the grain wake. Let's do some sailing. The sailing looks amazing. They did a great job on that as well. I liked, I liked it personally. I liked it the way it was before, the way it looked. Um, it was like a lot lighter in general instead of dark spots, light spots. But this does look really good as well. It looks really nice, especially when you hit one of those brighter spots in the game like this. We're going the right way. Hopefully we'll find some uh, resource crates as well. Ooh, big jump. Hell yeah. That's got to be a big one. Ooh, I got, an, I got an idea for an achievement. They should make an achievement of like jumping a certain height into the air with the grain wake. That will be cool, right? Don't tell me that isn't cool. That is cool, right? I would like that. I have to slow down here a little bit. Ooh. There you go. Make sure I don't land on those rocks, because if you land on those rocks, you're pretty much just effed. You're gonna have to <laughs> do a quick restart of the game, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can teleport, can you? Oh yeah, you can probably teleport with, the, um, with those, but... You don't really want to do that. Airtime, you like it? Yeah. Yeah, an airtime achievement would be great. I definitely would have had it on that one, I think. <laughs> Ooh, we're going down a little bit. Need to be heading a little bit more in this direction. really dark here. Can sell some more tea. Don't have that much anymore. Ooh. Smell that driftwood? Wood smoke and ash. Oh, over here. Oh, yeah, for any drifting goods. Sweet. Finally found something. There's not a whole lot of these crates around. I don't know if they spawn randomly or if they only spawn in like set locations. But those are awesome. Sacramite silver, glintstone. What else did we get? I don't know what else we got. It went away too quickly for me to read. <laughs> but a Sacramite Sliver is good. We needed that uh, upgrade material, so... Alright, we're almost at the Lost Library. Stroop waffles question mark. What about stroop waffles? Stroop waffles are awesome. Yeah, we all know that. Everybody knows that. 
All right, let's see if there's any more of those crates around. You smell that? Wood smoke and ash. Keep an eye out for any drifting goods. According to this guy, oh yeah, there's one. Sacramite shard, sweet. Kind of hard to see right now. Just go around. Oh, another one somewhere. Here. Keep an eye out for any drifting It's definitely worth doing. Just sailing around a little bit. A couple of slivers again. Echoing bell, okay. Not bad, not bad. Alright, I think that's all of them around here. And let's get docking. Um, where was the dock? Over there. Sweet. Does this game have controller support? Yep. I'm using a PlayStation 5 controller right now, but um, all controllers should work properly. Uh, I, I know that actually somebody commented on Twitter uh, about on GOG the controller not working properly. I'm not sure why, but, but it should work properly. I'm playing on Steam and um, my PlayStation 5 controller is working, so... He doesn't really have anything else to say. <laughs> Ooh. Well, this looks interesting. Actually, I, I, I would recommend controller. Controller is definitely recommended by me for playing this game. You can play it on mouse and keyboard. It is doable. But I prefer controller um, for a couple of reasons. You, are, you can just be a little bit more precise about... Uh, about where you want to turn towards to attack, right? With controller of joystick, you can you can be a little bit more precise about that, and also you can sneak up on enemies a little easier, because if you slowly walk with your joystick, just pushing a little bit, you can actually sneak up on the enemy from behind them and do a critical attack damage, and um, on keyboard you can do it as well, but then you would have to hold block. You would have to hold block and then move slowly towards them, basically. Uh, but there's no other way on keyboards to uh, to do that. So I would definitely recommend controller for this game. I enjoy playing it like that. Uh, okay, where where are we gonna go? Um, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go this way. Okay, there's death lasers. Awesome, I love death laser lasers. Death lasers are the best lasers. We all know that. Oh no. Okay. Um, oh. Okay, good. We can dodge through them. Nice. Alright, good, good, good. No problem. Nice. Heal. Whew. Alright, that was a little tricky. And now we have to get to the other side there. Alright, let's do this. Dodge through the lasers, dodge through the lasers. Any more enemies? Oh yeah, here they are. Oh, and that's a big boy. Heal. No, get stunned. Not good, not good. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Nice, got him. Get wrecked, bro. A new heal. Ooh, that was way too close. Way too close for comfort. Nice, got him. Oh, jeez. 
You take damage rolling through the laser FYI? Oh, really? I thought I dodged it. Did I really take damage? I thought dodging through them um, was uh, was fine. If it did do damage, it didn't do that much, luckily. So I didn't even notice the damage. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We survived, okay? We survived. That's all that matters. I'm a pro gamer. I know what I'm doing, sort of. Maybe. Maybe I know what I'm doing. Now, let's see. Anything else back here? Any chests, maybe? Something hidden in those? I know sometimes there's uh, there's something hidden in them. Oh, it just goes back to this area. Okay. I see, I see. On the other side, there doesn't seem to be anything either, for as far as I can tell. Just to go back here. Okay, cool. Well, let's walk back to that area then. That's pretty difficult. But we got it first try, so. Do a little heal. We got one more healing bell left. It's not much, but it's something. It will have to be enough. Any enemies? There's chests here. Cool. Figurine. Another figurine. Another figurine. Lots of figurines, apparently. Not a one. How much glint is a single figurine? Uh, a thousand. Oh, nice. We just got, like, we have 5,000 glint only in figurines right now. Nice. And we got this alchemic coat. Wait, did we get that earlier? I guess we got that earlier in one of the crates. Nice. Alright. Anything else here? No? A door? Is this supposed to be a staircase? Oh. Just do it up there. Okay, we only have one healing bell, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we can do it. Oh, and it's a boss fight as well. Didn't even hit him properly. Oh, and I'm stunned. Nice! Talisman of Reckless Blocking. Oh, well, that fits my style. I like that. Reckless Blocking. What does that mean? Uh, the bearer goes mad with bloodlust. You will no longer negate damage when blocking, but you will deal any damage taken back to the attacker. Ooh. Interesting. What's oh, an item up here? A recipe for Ferrum Benny? Whatever the heck that is. Alright, 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 alright. And this is the book that we needed, I guess. Spellbook? Spellbook of Time. Hmm. Is something special? No? So that's not the book that we needed. We needed something else from this place. Do we need to use the time abilities? Maybe? Question mark? Spellbook of Time. Traversal. Teleport behind your target when you attack. Uh, leaves, face leaves behind an image that draws enemy aggro. Space time reflects 60% of the damage back that you block back at the attacker. 
Maybe I can teleport? Some way? Um, or there's like a secret door? Oh! There you go! Found it! Alright. Is this the book that we needed? The modest black book. Yep, that's the one. Anything else here? Any more secrets, perhaps? I don't think so. Cool. Glad that we got that one. So now we can return to uh, Fern. Fern, whatever her name is. And uh, hopefully we'll get something in our turn. Wait, actually, we were supposed to get those bones, I believe. Or whatever. That we have to bring back to uh, Herwell. That was the deal, wasn't it? Yeah, I believe it was something like that. Alright, so now we can just teleport back to... The Flare Forge. Because that's where that fern person is. Cool. Get all the way over here. It does take a little while to traverse this area. Back and forth. I kind of wish that the bell was a little closer, but I mean, it's only like 5 to 10 seconds, so. It is not the end of the world, I guess. I guess it ain't the end of the world. Oh, another one. Stop at freaking Vortex. Vortex takes way too long. Cool. Let me actually apply the uh, time spell blade things. Um, I have never used the, the temporal abilities. Let's see. The attack is the teleport behind your target and attack. Oh, that one is probably really good actually. But it's only one enemy, then, that you'll be hitting. Because with the fire and the uh, lightning, you can hit multiple at once. Let's just test it out, I guess. Um, hmm. What is the lightning dodge? Allows the player to teleport through enemies, dealing damage to all enemies along the path. And the temporal dodge is leaves behind an image that draws enemy aggro for three seconds. Well, I might actually want to do that one. That one might be good too. Yeah, let's do the dodge one. Let's do dodge temporal. There you go. So now when we do this, and we do... Ooh, that looks really cool! <laughs> it distorts, the, like, the character completely. It kind of looks like that anyway. And then we do uh, dodge. And there's an image for three seconds. And enemies will aggro onto that one. Nice! Alright, that's gonna be useful. Does it actually work? Right, he's too slow for it to actually work properly. Oh yeah, it works. Nice. Probably best when there's multiple enemies. If there's only one enemy, I don't think you want you want you want to use that one too much, but especially if it's a slower enemy, then basically. Doesn't serve a purpose. Good stuff. Is there another enemy here? No. Forgot where all of them spawned. There's one here. Nice. Oh, I completely missed that one. 
at him. All right, there's Fern. Oh, hello. Jeez. It's kind of rude. Get wrecked. Cool. What's up? My friend, you've returned. And you look no worse for wear. Did you happen across my book? Or did you need something else? I have the book. Oh, wonderful. While I am fastidious about maintaining my ledgers, I wish I could keep them safe. A great service, my friend. Thank you for your help. Here are the bones as promised. Unless you've had a change of heart. Interested in sharing a dish of broth with me? <laughs> um, no, thank you. I'm not very interested in a bone broth. No offense taken, my friend. Oh! I almost forgot. If you have not already, you should seek out the hidden prison of this forge. Ooh. I heard whispers pertaining to those very bones. Right. I will rest here a little longer before returning to my travels. Should you need anything, please come back and see me. Interesting. A hidden prison? I, I knew there was a prison, actually. I have heard talk of that, but I don't know where. I still think it might be at that cage, but I'm not sure because I've never been able to really interact with them. But that's because I've never completed this quest either. So maybe if we go there now, that dude, that like ghost, wisp, whatever, will finally interact with us. Full throttle. Nothing like good old bone broth. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? There's nothing like it. Wonderful. Uh, I think we have to go this way. Oops. Nice, sweet. Hey, thank you very much, War Frenzy, for subscribing to the channel. Very much appreciate it. Oh, I suck. I suck. Alright, let's do the dodge thing. There you go. Nice. Cool. Yeah, that uh, that image, that like, phase ability, uh, really does help. Whatever it's called. Alright, can we now interact with this dude and will actually something happen? Place the bones of her Wellian royal. Yes. So you carry my remains. Have you come to mock? To jeer the grand failure? Who are you? No one. Not anymore. Are you Duke of Herwell? And before that, what was I? Does anyone remember? Uh, Alaria aims to lay you to rest. She sent me. She's figured out a part of it then. But still, she refuses to see the truth. What do you mean? Enough is said in my attempt to keep her from entering this place. My sister must realize that her betrayal is larger than simple tradition. Her betrayal? How I waited for them. They were all I had. My sisters. But in the I end, she joined in the slaughtering of Herwell. In the sacking of the city. Her home. Now she hides behind her fealty to that monstrous king. Hmm. Until she is ready to confront her shadow, Alera will never break the curse. What curse? If she has yet to reveal her plight to you, neither will I. Hmm, okay. Uh, you were the one keeping her out? It does not matter where she buries my remains. They will not help her. Then why keep her from getting them? My captors would tell me often that I would soon be released. They did this because they knew that suffering becomes more intense when a reprieve is visible. When we were children at Herwell, I watched from upper court windows as my sister smiled and stumbled during their combat training outside. I want Alara to feel what I feel, what I have felt my whole life. Alara is your sister? For what little that means. All right. So... Now what?
Was that the prison? Is there nothing else? Do we not interact with anything? All right. I don't know what uh, what is next for this like sort of quest. There's not even a there's not even a quest for it though, is there? Um, oh well, return to yeah, return to bones. Okay. All right, I guess that's it for now. Let's return the bones to uh, her well then. How much room or glint do we have? I mean, there you go. Let's um, do a little level up. Should you oh, wait. He doesn't want to craft anything for us anymore. We're going to have to go all the way back to Star Spire first. It is what it is, I guess. Let's heal up. And back to her well then. Over there. Hopefully the stream is uh, okay now. Let me check if it's finally connected again. I have to refresh the page. I don't know why this is happening. Yesterday it started happening as well. For the first time in like ages that something went wrong. Alright, I think we're back, right? I think so. Alright, cool. Awesome. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. It should be good now. Uh, where were we going? We were going to Hurwell. That's where we were going. Oh wait, <laughs> we were there already. Uh, I forgot I already teleported there. Uh, okay, where do we go now? Where do we need to go for that lady? Um, let's see. The, the return the bones to the ruins of Hurwell. Uh, I guess in that area that I saw her in first. I assume. There you go. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah, I don't know why uh, why the stream was uh, was acting up. I did it yesterday as well. I don't know if it's YouTube or Streamlabs or... I have no idea. I just hope that it won't happen too often. Because it is super annoying. Is that the lady? Oh yeah, here she is. You've returned. Do you have them? Yes. I can't. Shutting her eyes, she lifts her chin as she focusing on the movement of the wind that isn't there. You have done her well a great service, Knight. My family is again honored. Our people served. Any information pertaining to Kelder? I swore my word, Knight. Your friend Calder has become renounced. There is no death for him, no pardon for his transgressions. His plight is such that for eternity he will wander the sands, forever contemplating his wrongdoing. Is there a way to help him? This path is a personal one. Only he can find the way forward. So you must be renounced then. To long for such release. The means of escape just a blade away. I understand your friend's dilemma intimately. Hmm. I spoke with your brother. Oh, there's a typo there. Um, I spoke with your brother, the spirit of Velmont. Let me screen cap that quickly. There you go. I can send it to the devs later. I don't know if any of them are watching right now. There might actually. Maybe. Screen kept out. I lack the fortitude for games, Knight. Um, you said you betrayed him, that you joined him, jo joined in the slaughter of Hurwell's court. But there are none alive who. No, I will not endure such from you. You have done me a service, Knight, but I will not. So you did betray him? I swore fealty to my king. I was in his personal guard. 
Who was I to deny orders? You said you need to confront your shadow. And what does he know of shadows? Felmont, the only true heir of Herwell. Morella, the beauty which beckoned from across the land. It was fealty alone which saved me from the indifference of my house. He said the bones won't help you. A spoiled duke. Had he controlled himself, had he sheathed his passion over Aurella, none would have suffered so. But he invaded Paragon's rest. He sought to bury her in her well. There would have been no retaliation had he swallowed his pride. I'm sorry, I thought you should know. What could I have done? One against an army. I will bury him a hundred times if I have to. I will have reprieve from this. I will. I will. Her words descend first into an anxious mumbling and then into nothingness until all, the re all that remains is the weeping of the rain which falls from nowhere. Alright, quest completed. Cool. Um, Alright. So we can continue doing the main stuff or we also have a fruitful experience or reduce fare. Let's do that one. Return to the grave. I'm not sure where the grave is. I know it's a location somewhere. But I'm not quite sure where. <laughs> uh, does it say that anywhere? It doesn't say it anywhere, like where it's supposed to be. Uh, what about this one? Um, ba -ba -bum. There was a hint of doubt that the skills of a remnant knight would not be enough to pluck the most loose fruit in the vine. Find and retrieve the lamello fruit. I remember Sir Gideon talking about an island northwest of um, Radix. I think that's where we have to go. He was talking about an island of, like, snow and ice, I believe. Which is kind of weird. In a uh, desert world, but... <laughs> Let's try and find it, I suppose. How many uh, glint do we have? 8,000 almost, nice. Oh, and we have 8 of the, uh, of the uh, sliver. We can actually upgrade our weapon. We go back to Star Spire first. We can finally upgrade our weapon again. Make it a little bit more powerful. Well, actually, I don't know if we can, because we might need the... We might need a forge upgrade. But maybe. I mean, we do have that lady helping us out now at the forge, so maybe we'll be able to do it. Because she is the weaponsmith. What do you need? Let's see. Upgrade this one. Ah, yes, we can. Awesome. Cool. So now we have a purple one. And would I like to change it? Hmm. The pummel I want to keep. But what about the codex? The Therum codex, perhaps. That may be good. Therum tempered. Hmm. Warriors. It costs a lot of glint to change. Alright, I'm gonna keep it as is for now. But I would like to change it into something else later. I know that when we get to the Black Rod Island, uh, I think we can find the Hashari Codex somewhere. And that one I really like. I like the look of it as well. Because changing the codexes will... Um, co codice, I think you're supposed to say. Um, oh, and we have a lot more glint, actually. But changing those will also alter the look of the weapons a little bit, I believe. Yeah, we can sell some of our stuff right now. No, oh, no dead eye again. Oh no, we're good. I guess it buffered for a little bit. 
but I think we're good. It when that happens. Okay. Uh, let's buy some more of these because we need them. And I think we have enough of those for now. I don't think we need to buy anything else at the moment. I think we're good. I think we're Travel good. Well, young knight to be. Uh, could we level up anything else? Hmm. Let's see. More armor would be good. Or upgrading the critical one there. That'll be good too. Upgrading a green critical into a blue. We don't have enough. Not yet. Let's get rid of that haste. Get rid of that spell blade. Get rid of one of those special attacks. There you go. Critical, rare, boom. Very nice. And do we need to make anything else into a blue version as well? No, I don't think so. Cool, so now we can do the critical on that. Slightly more powerful again. And we have 7,000. Probably should go to the forge again first. My creaking back. See if we can make any upgrades there again with the 7,000 glint that we have. And then anything that we have extra, we can go back to the rune carver and then we can upgrade our spell blade, our um, temporal one. I think that would be good. Uh, ooh, can we upgrade the weapon? No. Smith needs more tools. Okay. So we cannot upgrade that one any further. Um, well, let's upgrade this one finally to the last level. Nice. That's good. And, yeah, we can upgrade. Let's see. The chest is already level 9. That one is level 9 already. Let's upgrade. Oh, no, we cannot upgrade this one further. Okay. That's it. Wait, why can we... Why can we not upgrade these ones to level 9? These ones are already 9. Oh, wait, the Therum. Yeah, the Therum upgraded those. Right. That's why they are slightly higher. Okay, that explains that. Okay, so right now I can't do anything else. I cannot do any more upgrades regarding weapons or armor. Um, I mean, I can switch what type of weapon I have and whatnot, but I don't want to do that. I do have another rune slot. Let's do... Um, what do I want to increase? Special attack, spell blade... Um, this is the spell blade attack increase. There you go. And let's go back to the rune carver, I guess, because we've got, we got 5,000 points left. We can put those into the uh, temporal spell blade ability. Or the electrical, because we use that one to fight. Yeah. A little bit of both, maybe. Let's see. Spellblade. The temporal. That increases the, the amount of seconds to 3.1. 3.2, 3.3. Okay, that's not a lot. It's not a lot of increase in that dodge one. Unfortunately. So maybe it is better to just focus on focus on the uh, lightning attack then yeah let's level that one up twice 
Instead of 42 damage of the lightning attack, we'll do 52 damage. Not bad. And I guess we can do like one level up on this as well. There you go. 0.1 second extra. <laughs> How you doing there, Pit? Good to see you. Welcome. Welcome back, welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Alrighty. Uh, so where are we going now? Now we're gonna go find that island I was talking about earlier, I guess. That's supposed to be... I believe Sir Gideon said it was northwest of Radix. So that would be like in this direction somewhere. We should probably just go from Starspire. I'm not sure what this is. But it doesn't hurt to uh, explore a little bit closer to home. Might be able to get some cool talismans and whatnot. So let's go do a little bit of that. We might run into easy islands because they're like lower level. <laughs> A closer to Star Spire, maybe, so lower level, I would assume. Let's take a look at this one. What is this place? Belfry. Belfry. Any resource boxes around? No? That's why I was going around, but I'm not seeing any. That's unfortunate. Alright. Let's see what is over here, then. Probably should have gone here, like, in the beginning. You have anything to say? <laughs> no? Just grunting? Okay. What's over here? Feels a little empty. Oh, things floating. Okay, that is interesting. That's cool, that's cool. All right. No enemies, though. Feels a little easy. Wait, do I see an enemy over there? I see something. Or an NPC. Just a trader or something. Oh, there's an item. Gotcha. Hello there. Pick up recipe. My fee is eighteen hundred glint. Should the belfry prove too much for you? Uh, who are you? That's out of your price range. Are you working together or not? No thanks. Suit yourself. What? My fee is eighteen hundred. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, he wants a fee apparently for something. Okay, this is an odd place. Let's see. There's a way up here. Really high up. Oh, there's a bus! Mold the second console and... Balcha, the first console? Okay. Alright, interesting. I've never fought these guys. I wonder how hard they're gonna be. Oh, not that much. Yeah, I am way over leveled. <laughs> I am way over-leveled. 
There you go. And I got an achievement. Very nice. Defeating them without enlisting his help. That's cool. Alright, we got a bunch of basic stuff. We're better something than nothing, I suppose. Can we ring the bell? No, that's it. Alright. It's a bit of an odd place. Is there more to it? Over here? The Pommel Master Cast Finesse. What does that do? Every fifth hit deals 175% more damage. Hmm. That is interesting. I wonder if that would be better than what I have right now, the hemorrhaging. Every fifth hit. I do hit quite fast with these weapons. Hmm. I think it might be good for dual wielding. The hemorrhaging is also real strong. I don't know. Is there anything else to this place? That NPC left now? Yeah, he left. I guess that's it. It's a bit odd. Like, not there's not any more information about what's going on here. I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> he has nothing to say. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll keep going. Well, that was an easy boss battle. I'm glad we did that. <laughs> Alright, and let's find another new place. We needed to go northwest for that island that we're looking for. Which is pretty much just north of where we are right now. I'm guessing anyway. Um, let's see. So that is Radix over there. Do I have that correct? Uh, yeah, that's Paragon's Rest, and then after that is Radix. So we need to go like to the left of that. So maybe that one. Maybe that's the one we need to go to. Or it's the one with the barriers, I have no idea. I know there's a couple of places back there. It's a pretty massive one back there. Wait, is that two different ones? Is that one smaller one, like right in front of us, and then one much further away? I think it is. Yeah, just over one. Ah, the grave. The grave. Nice, we found it. Only one way an island earns a name like that. All right, cool. We weren't looking for this one right now but we did have a quest for it so I guess it's good that we did find it any resource crates around here let me check sail around the place a little bit all right I don't see anything let's just dock immediately that's nice. We didn't go here for uh, for this particular quest, but we did need to find it, so that's awesome. Let's interact with that one. 
Have anything to say now? Was buried should remain that way, Knight. What do you know about this place? Settlement sprung up here. Long before you or I was worth knowing. Something like ours. We folk living happily. Or at least reaching for it. But another settlement watched from a stretch away. Until they got tired of watching. Alright, great story, bro. Let's get down into the grave. Sounds like a very nice and inviting place. Ooh, it's dark. Gonna have to use my lantern a little bit, maybe. Oh, what's up, bro? Nice. It's really dark in this area. Oh, spikes. Walk the other way. <laughs> Those guys are getting hit. Only does 30 damage? Okay. We might be able to take a couple of hits before... So, so we should be able to get those items. There you go. Good. Anything else back here? Nope. Oh. Is that a trap? Well, we gotta be careful. Oh, here we go. Circles this way. Up in here. Now there's a staircase on either side. Can we open this? No. It's locked. Okay, so we're gonna have to go to the other side. It's over here then. Oh, hello. Oh, good, oh, good. Get a lever. That's definitely not going to get us in trouble. Definitely not a trap, right? Oh, looks like we're good. Trying to see if there was a secret door there, maybe. Alright, so now we go all the way back there. I probably should have opened it. Yep. And I heard more spikes. Oh! Yep. Alright. Gotta hurry. Are we safe? I think we are. Fight. What's up, bro? Oh, two of them. Wasn't ready for that. Nice, we're way over leveled. <laughs> awesome. We're so much stronger than we're supposed to. That's great. Big gloves. What's that? On a successful parry, you gain uh, one spell blade charge. Oh, nice. That's an interesting uh, battle mage set bonus. Cool, right. cool. Hello? Would you bring us a light? One to keep. 
Seek the one born from Rakis. Seek the storm. Gift simple lantern. Work continues. You. What the hell is that? Thankful. You cross as much as you want. With the withering fingers, the decaying once man wrapped his hands around the bars and leans in close. We take you to the entrance. How did you subdue the corrupted? With time, all currents come together. We sing, we listen. The entrance? They won't trust you, but you restore the crossing. Don't understand. Follow us. All right, I'll follow you. Not sure where we're going with this. Oh, hello. Nice little sailing boat. You like to cross. Um, this is a river. A current made up of the lost. The lost. Okay, sure. I guess we're going Salem. <laughs> Current made up of the lost. Whatever that means. Where are we going, Captain? We're going to the entrance, the entrance of whatever. I don't even—I don't even know the entrance of what. I think we're almost there. I can see a dock. Some lighting. Another gate. What are we doing here? We were only supposed to bring the lantern. Oh, there's an item here. It's a master cast. Blood drinker that you gain one healing charge every eight kills a healing charge what what does a healing charge mean like how much health is that is that like the same amount of health that you would get from a healing bell every eight kills that is interesting I mean, it won't help you during uh, boss battles, unless they spawn enemies, I guess. Alright, what are you? Roy's the stalwart porter. Behind the imposing bars of an iron gate stands an imitating once man. You shouldn't be here. Who are you? What is this place? No one. Nowhere. V uh, Volk brought me. <laughs> Volk can't even tell the difference anymore. That's why he stays outside. Now get lost. Felker knows better than to bring his knights down here. Tell him Roy says to mind his keepers. Okay. So Velker knows more about this place, I guess. You like to cross. Um, yes. Can I ask you some questions? We are bad at questions. Um, do you know what's behind that door? I do not trust other songs. Only those inside the settlement. Settlement? How do they survive down there? Once men are stern, like the sands which form them. It's a settlement of once men. They do not trust you. But you bring us light. We trust you. <laughs> okay. Okay, tell me about the grave. Home to all who look like us. Then came songs of fear, of fire. So we buried our home. Okay. You like to cross? Uh, yes, please. I'd like to go back. All right. Interesting. So these ones men, I guess, are people that are dead, but somehow they're undead. I'm not sure what the lore behind those are. 
But the lore behind those uh, those ones, man, is yeah, they seem undead. And apparently they don't, they don't like us much. At least not these guys. The guy that's with us on the sailing boat is also a once man. I think he was called Valkner. So he should know more about this place according to that gatekeeper over there. Maybe he will have some more to say once we leave this place. Let's go around over here. I think there's a shortcut back there. Nice. Cool. Was there a chest over on the other side, perhaps? Not sure. Might be worth taking a look. I am running like that because it's a little faster, but over here I will keep the light, make sure we don't miss anything. Alright. Unlock eight. There's nothing there, that was a waste of time. Let's go back down this way, and I think over here was towards the entrance, right? Yes. Alright, good. We made it through. Nice little adventure. Alright, so we delivered that one. Do we need to go back to Vern now and tell her that we completed the mission? Or was it done already? I think it completed the mission. But let's double check. Once we get out of this loading screen. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it counted. Awesome. You have something to say now? Rain wakes just there, night. I met with Roy's Velker. You've proven yourself steadfast to the order to Star Spire, but this world don't see us the same night. My duty isn't just to the order. Even once men deserve a refuge. So there is a settlement of one's men down there. Aye, and they're hidden for a reason. Can we go in? Mm, no need certainty. Proof you're with us. How can I prove myself? Start by keeping this between us. <laughs> okay. He takes a moment to peer across the sand sea. Then, when opportunity comes calling, see you answer it. All right. So maybe at some point we will go down there into the settlement of the once man. Maybe. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, now we need to go to another island. Because um, that was the one that we were actually trying to find. Northwest of... Um, of whatever that place was called. <laughs> got his name. Radix, yes. Northwest of Radix. So that's got to be somewhere around here then. We gotta be close. We gotta be close. Let's see. Is there an island in that direction? No. Is it this one? Because Radix is back that way. Oh, I think I see a dock there. This may be it. Boy, take heed. Supplies just there. Nice, some extra supplies. Let's go around this place again. See if we can find some more supplies.
Doesn't look like it. Looks like the one is all we're gonna get. It's fine though. Still extra resources. I'm not complaining. Alright. Gamble speak. What's this about? What will we find here? <laughs> Nothing to say about it. Okay, cool. I guess let's just try to get up. Oh. Try not to fall down into the desert ocean. <sighs> Ooh, almost fell off. It's a little slippery. Is this place just a parkour island? Is that what it is? Is that why it's called Gamble Peak? Because you're gambling with your life trying to get up there? an item up there. How the heck are you supposed to get up there? Oh, well, I guess like that. And then maybe... <laughs> nope! Ah, oh, that was close though. We did hit it, but we went a little bit too fast. We slipped right off. Um, did I lose my glint? Let's see. It's on the other one? Why did it spawn on that one? I didn't even hit it. Oh boy, that's not good. Alright, I'm probably not getting that glint back. It wasn't that much though, I believe it was only like 1400 or something. So it's not the worst. It's not great. Alright, um, try again. No! Messed up. Can we jump up this way? Alright, at least we got the big hat. That isn't gonna give us our glint back. Nope. Alright, and now we lost it. That's fine. <laughs> it was only 1400. It's not that much. Something like that, I believe. Uh, okay, is there anything else in this island? I mean, it's a huge tower on the island. There's gotta be more to it, right? I would assume so, anyway. I've never explored these ones. So I'm not sure if there's more to them. But let's continue, because this doesn't seem to be the island that I'm looking for, anyway. So let's just continue. And try to find the one that I am looking for. That's a huge one as well. Maybe that's the one we need. That's absolutely massive. Let's see if we can find a dock for it. Uh, oh yeah, I think I see a light there. With a massive ladder going up. Or elevator? Can't tell. Elevator, probably. Cold well. Alright, I see oh, some supplies over there. Sand, and maybe a whole head. Wait, the supplies are hidden underneath the Oh, that's interesting. So sometimes they'll be hidden.
old well. Is this the location that we needed? Anything to say, bro? <laughs> nope, okay. Let's just go up then. Let's see what we can find up here. Takes a while. Here we go. Alright. What is this place? No enemies yet? I want to see something over there. Some sort of a ghost? And something... Oh, another ghost, okay. Sup? You gonna attack me? Oh, yes you are. Oh, you're strong. Okay. Yeah, you're strong. Did I just get 2,000 glint from beating those? No way. That's a lot of glint. Ah, yeah, here we are. This is what we needed. We needed to find an, uh, an ice island or something. So this is it. Here we are. Cool. Lit. Tercy of Ice. I have to be careful. Uh, something floating there? Is that an illusionary path? Can I walk there? I'm afraid. Alright, walk of faith. Keep going, keep going. Alright. There's nothing here. Why is there nothing here? That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. Alright, this way. Hey there, Brent. Welcome. Alright, is there another area here that we can... Oh, man, I'm afraid. Yep, okay. Okay. Alright, so I guess we just gotta walk a fave all the way across every time. Hopefully not fall off. Oh god. Now what? Can we walk that way? Nope. <laughs> we cannot go that way. There's gotta be a way to tell. All right, let's get my glint back. Can I tell by the particles? Oh, I can see some of the snow particles like stopping on the ground. Stopping on the illusionary pool. Talisman. Talisman of speed. What's that? Um, oh, that's a comforting candle. Gives light to some of the truly dark places in the world. A reckless one. Uh, movement speed increases by 10%. Okay, cool. Uh, where did we come from again? Oh boy, I lost track. I think we came from there. 
Um, there's another road over here. The spear. The splintering pike. It's an interesting location. Any other paths over here? I don't think so. Back this way. Back this way. Now, uh, was there anything over here that I missed then? another path over here that I missed and then another one up here okay cool and now what another one up here yes This way. Alright, cool. I'm not sure where we're going, but we're doing it. Oh, nice. There's some Glyn stuff over here. It's been a long time since I found any of these. A long, long time. Nothing over there. Oh, is that a boss? We might have a boss fight on our hands. Maybe. Hello? You look a little cold. Einar the Vanguard Sentinel. Alright. Come on, Einar. Gotta heal. Doing a lot of damage though. Whoa, what is that? Okay, that was a little crazy. That did a lot of damage. Oh, we got him. Savage helmet, skull, killed, and mittens. What is that armor set? That looks pretty cool. Switch back. What's the set bonus? Gain one gain point one corruption when you are attacking, even if you block or parry the attack. This effect can't occur more than once every 0.5 seconds, okay? And the other one is a 0.2 corruption every time. Nice. Anything else here? What's this? Blaze the splintering pike. Ostirat the wandering wolf. Within a tor torrent of frigid air, a specter materializes before you. It does not speak, but a wave of whispers breaks against your shoulders. There is a presence of others behind you, as if standing in a crowded room. The spirit nods in extending its hand, and as yours rises to meet it, a modest talisman of stone and steel appears within your grasp. Definitely. Can we jump up here? Can we do something? Oh uh, no, I don't think so. Well, maybe there will be a jumpy puzzle over here. It doesn't seem like it. All right, cool. Um, I guess we go back again. Uh, find and retrieve the lamello fruit. All right, I think I needed the movement speed talisman. I think that's why Sir Gideon brought us to this place. Uh, how do we get back? I don't see. Oh, here. 
I forgot which road we have to take. Over here. And over that way. And that way. This way. Alright, cool. We got it. Sweet. Is that all? Is there nothing out here? Connecting to this area? I don't see any path. Uh, I don't think there's anything here. I guess this is just an overview of... Of the location, I guess. I don't think there's anything more. Looks like we got it. Sweet. Let's leave this place. Actually, we probably could have teleported from the bell there. Probably could have fast traveled. But maybe we had to kill those. Alrighty then. Well, that was fairly easy. So we got a movement speed panel, uh, a movement speed talisman now. Let's go back to Star Spire. Let's um, activate that movement speed one. And then let's go back to Radix and find that fruit. I know where the fruit is, but I think you're not fast enough to get it. Without the talisman, maybe. Sir Gideon did send us here. I was expecting a little bit more on this island, though. I mean, it's a massive place. And there wasn't really too much to it. But that's alright. Uh, any more item chests? I don't see any. Alright, let's go back to Radix. No. I'm dumb. I was supposed to go back to uh, Star Spire. Okay. Well, let's go back to Radix now, I suppose. Not that far off. And I will teleport from there. Was this Radix? I thought it was. Um, no, no, it's a different location. The big door. Oh, there's resources. Spoils just there, knight. Mind yourself. Free boots may be about. Ooh, sacramite ingots. Nice. Alright, uh, now we need to go that way. That's where Radix is. Yeah, that's the one. Get myself some tea. there. I don't think we can apply talismans just when we're out and about. Pretty sure we do have to go back to Star Spire for that. But that's alright, we'll just teleport there from here. Nice little bit of sailing. And slow down. Radix Stronghold. Any more of those resource boxes popped up? 
I don't know if they're respawn or whatever. I don't think so. Or maybe if they do, it's like a super long timer. Pretty sure they don't. Alrighty then. Here we are. Now let's go back to Star Spire. We found the big door. Coldwell. The gambit. Oh, this was the grave area. Nice little bit of exploration done. I wonder if we have to return to one of those places for like a little side mission. And then something more opens up. Maybe. Alright, let's get to the priestess. Um, actually, let's first go back to Galena, to the trader. Because we might be able to buy some more scripts of Lises. Scriptures, I mean. Maybe we can unlock another talisman slot, maybe. Come take a look. Uh, no, she doesn't sell anymore. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, we can buy some of these. Uh, do we want to buy the green ones as well? I don't think we need those at the moment. Uh, let's buy another critical rune. So we have nine of that stuff. I'm gonna buy these other runes as well. Maybe a waste of glint, but we do... We can like reconstruct or deconstruct them for the, the dust stuff. Which is also good. Alrighty. Travel well, young knight to be. And let's deconstruct those. Dust extract. That one. Let's first do the basic ones. And the green one we can do. The haste one I don't care about. And then armor penetration I don't care about. Critical and special attack I can keep, I guess. And then we can do a critical damage. Level up to a purple. There we go. That's what I want. And then we can do, let's see, critical rune. We have there, we have a blue one there. We have another critical blue one over there. Let's do this one, I guess. Doesn't really matter which one. There you go. Now we have another purple. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. We got a lot of uh, upgrade materials now as well. We got a Sacramite ingot, which is level 20 upgrades. We d we were, we're not there yet. We we're not even at purple, really. I mean, the only purple thing we have right now is our weapon from the Sacramite shards. Uh, and Sacramite shards are needed for upgrading that one. Yeah, we got a long way to go for red. It's going to take a while. Because these ones level up to level 12. And these ones level up past, um, past 20. So we're probably missing a step. I think there's also an orange one, maybe. That's in between those, perhaps. Uh, all right. Let's go to the priestess now. That's why we went back here in the first place. All right, here we go. Don't really have more of those. This book of scripture has unlocked so much of. And then we're gonna have to replace one of these. Um, 
Let's replace this one, I guess. And now where's the movement one? Uh, this one? Oh, that takes two talisman slots? Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess I'll remove this one temporarily. And then we'll do the speedy one. There you go. Right, so we should be a little faster now. 10% faster. Which may be enough to get that fruit that we needed to pick up. Because that fruit apparently teleports. I fit. From what my understanding is, there's like a mage inside of that fruit or whatever. You need to grab him. That's my understanding of it. But I could be completely wrong there. Alright, let's go to... Actually, let's get rid of this marker as well. There you go. Go back to Radix. Because that's where that is supposed to be. And then after we've completed that, I think we're finally going to go ahead and try one of the bosses that we needed. The, uh, the twin bosses here at Radix or the Flare Forge one. The Flare Forge one is probably more difficult. So I think I will go for the other one. <laughs> um... I guess we can go both ways. It doesn't really matter. Let's go this way. Yeah, we'll get there no matter which way we go. Correct, assassin lady. Nice. That was good. Is Sir Gideon still there? Oh yeah, here he is. Right then. You shall find the fruit, or him, rather. Wherever the bramble is thickest in this labyrinthine stronghold. His form should hold until you report back to me. All right. Yeah. So uh, I, I think I'm right about that. That they're, they're like being a person in the fruit or whatever. A mage or something. Ooh. I got a heal. They're doing a lot of damage to me. What's up, bro? And that's where we needed to go. To this area. Let's first take out this dude. I don't want him getting me from behind. That sounds weird. I apologize. Cool. I don't know if that actually does anything. Do we grab it? No. Just keeps teleporting no matter what. I don't see a way to uh, like interact with it. Where'd it go now? No way. We gotta attack it in time? Yeah. 
I definitely reach it in time. But I'm not <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with it. We get corruption from this. We earn corruption by hitting these. have to use our special ability somehow <laughs> I'm totally lost here all right so we were supposed to go northwest of Radix to find an icy island and, and find an item there that could help us out we went there we went to Coldwell I think that is the island he meant. And then the only items we found there was the dust falling thing. And... Wait, do we need to use... A... Oh, hold on. We found a cold book as well. The frost spells. Maybe those help? Slow enemies, uh, hit them, blah, blah, blah. Okay, in case by blocking, no poise damage, unblockable. Chill step leaves behind a wall of ice that only you can pass through. Lasts for three seconds. Is that gonna help? A frost dodge? sure what to do here. Let's put this back to temporal. Do the frost attack perhaps. Oh! That did work! I'm awesome! <laughs> I'm amazing! Alright! So we had to freeze it. Cool. And the best around. Nobody can ever say that I'm not, because I did it. Cool. Alright, so we didn't need the talisman at all. We didn't need to change my talismans at all. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Uh, Sir Gideon, I got what you wanted. That immense odor! The spice and resin! You've done it, haven't you? Claimed that foul, delicious fiend! Give him the lamello fruit. Without hesitation, he takes the fruit from you. Turning it about in his palm, he inspects a bruise along the golden peel. Oh, this is the one! You have my thanks. Good night. With closed eyes, he bites into the fruit and then exuberant, with exuberant ferocity, a rich green juice drips from his chin into his tunic. No, you're eating the mage. Perhaps my proclivity for sagacious illustrations should be reconsidered. Very well. There is no mage, my dear knight. There never was. At least your lack is made up for in wholehearted enthusiasm. <laughs> he just wanted a fruit. That's it. It's just a normal fruit. You waste my time. But time is such a mercurial courtesan. One moment she is wasted, then another spent wisely. Speaking truthfully, I did manipulate you, Knight. And for that, I apologize. I sought to delay through philosophical demonstration. 
If I could assure you your time had not been squandered, would you permit me assistance further? Fine. What do you want? My reason for being here is no coincidence. I seek a cultist of the Dusk Dreamers named Saffron Salius, hmm. a former associate who studied under my tutelage. The guilt, this guilt is real or just, or are you just parched? <laughs> a deserved jab, I admit. But yes, Saffron and her current ideology are quite material, as are the consequences of her actions. Our relationship has reached its coda. Should you assist me, I can assure you half the bounty payment and the additional promise of more contracts in the future. Mm, sounds good. Another thing worth note, Saffum coats her blades in a deadly toxin. Ooh. The smallest laceration could mean the end for either of us. Okay, so don't get hit. Uh, Lamello fruit. With a wink, he tosses you back the half-eaten Lamello fruit. But We've nothing to fret over. Thanks to you, mighty knight, for you've already procured the antidote. Ah, this fruit is the antidote. Some questions. A line of inquiry when we aren't surrounded by obsidian, heat and ash? It doesn't feel right, my dear knight. <laughs> the atmosphere here is just too comfortable. Why not ask for my help outright? There are those who, upon finding a crack within fine stone, would blow in sand to encourage erosion. I had hoped to turn away from this conclusion, to sabotage eventual success. Tell me about the Dusk Dreamer's Cult. It is quite the interesting inversion of morality, so speaking. They view the corrupted as simple victims of plague, those drenched in a stumbling sleep. To the Dusk Dreamers, those that kill corrupted are seen as murderers, and those who kill corrupted with effortless ease. Let's just say that Saffam will relish an encounter with a member of the Remnant Order. Hmm. Why not get the fruit yourself? We both have our strengths, Bold Knight. One of mine is in knowing my weaknesses. My inability to obtain the fruit permitted reason enough to halt my pursuit. Until you so valiantly came along. All right, I'll find the cultist. I mean, I'm not sure where to go for the cultist, but sure, I'll try to find him. I guess we have a quest update now, where from where uh, telling us where to go. Find and defeat the Dusk Dreamer's cultist in Radic Stronghold. Wait, it's within this stronghold? What? Within this stronghold, really? Ah. Huh. Um. Well, that certainly is interesting because I would have no idea where that could be. I've been all around this stronghold for as far as I'm aware. I guess there are secret locations then that I haven't visited yet. Hmm. Intriguing. Well, I have to do some searching. Hmm. See if we can find it, I guess. This is very interesting. Because I've been all around this place. Unless there's like a secret door. Like I have to interact with a sp special location. To gain access. Like an illusionary wall or something. Oh, hello. Got that one. Oh, hello. Let's see you there. Hmm. Maybe in this area? This kind of a special place, seems like, anyway. 
What's that light down there? Just a regular torch? Gonna have to go all around this place to try and find this special cult. Not quite sure where to start looking. Mm. Alright, this is nothing, it seems. Nothing there. Oh, assassin. Cool. It's just a shortcut back to the beginning. have to beat the bosses first to be able to find it. That could be something, I guess. goes to the bosses. Is that a door? No. Hmm. Ooh. Heal. <laughs> nice. The hemorrhage and killed it. Sweet. Mm. Mm. It's gonna take a while for me to figure this out, I think. Well, maybe this would be a door. I remember finding an item in the tower where Sir Gideon was. Um, this item, oh no, 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 not that one, I think, or was it that one? A clouded jar with a circular emblem of severed skulls upon its base, gazing with OP glass reveals a silhouette of a still beating heart, which has been planted in a mound of black sand. Atop the summit grows a sickly flower, there may be use for this elsewhere. Uh, maybe does that mean elsewhere on this place or elsewhere on, as in another island I guess hmm. is it gonna be tricky is there any Anything here that might help me? Apologizing for the manipulation. Reveal the true presence in Radix. True reason of his presence in Radix is pursuit of Sathum Salius, cultist Dusk Dreamers. His payment for your assistance in quelling this cultist threat. Sir Gideon the Enigmic uh, will, has promised half of the bounty fee. Okay. So no indication of where we're supposed to go and uh, no special information hmm. dusk dreamers maybe the name like 
can tell me something, I guess. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage. And not being very careful. Not being very careful. It's definitely my own fault for taking all that damage. I'm just running into danger. So these statues are like holding plants or flowers. Maybe that has something to do with that item? Or maybe it has nothing to do with it. These are holding just a cane or something. A sword. There, we got these guys again. I don't have any health left. Oh, uh, we have 12,000 runes on us. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk losing that right now. Let's go back quickly. Hmm. Not quite sure where to go for that mission. Go all the way back to the bell. And I guess let's try to upgrade some stuff. Actually, we cannot upgrade our weapons. I guess we could sink the, the glint into spellblade abilities. Wait, hold on. Maybe this guy knows something. While I am the finder of the lock, Can I ask you, you something? As it is foretold, uh, side gift. Uh, he doesn't know anything. What about you? Something is right odd with King Loon here. He'd be wise to steer clear. Mm. Don't forget. What do you know about this place? Besides stories of men stepping wrong and getting pulled into dark crevices. <laughs> Not much else. A few claim that inside the Wilgram twins still preserve their father's bloody legacy. Though none's gone deep enough to be sure. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Alright, well, let's travel back to Star Spire then. And before we continue, I am gonna keep uh, streaming for a while. Um, I'll probably try to do the twin fight and try to fight this, uh, this cult, obviously. And maybe even the Flameforge boss. I'm not sure about that one, because that one might take a while. But um, I'm quickly going to go to the bathroom real quick. Also going to get some more water because I'm all out of tea. So uh, I'll be back in like a minute or two. And then we're going to continue our adventure. Alrighty, we are back. Sanitation break, that's right. Alright, let's quickly uh, 
quickly check something. Ba, 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 ba. All right, awesome. Alrighty, let's get back to the game. Let's have some more fun. All right, uh, first off, let's go back to the priestess because I want to remove that talisman again and uh, switch back to what I had before. Uh, actually, first, let's go to the tavern because we have a couple of brew recipes that we can uh, put in there. I don't really use them too often, but what are you having, little knight? Here's the assassin's archi recipe, oh, recipe. and the therms oh, veni. Now, what are those? The assassin's archi is. Deal 25% more critical damage and deal 15% less non-critical damage, okay? And then the other one... Ferrum Veni, 25% uh, more special attack, 10% less normal. Hmm. Okay. I feel like normal attack is more important than special attack damage. Because you'll be using your normal attack a lot more often. Right? That's where that's why this one is good, I think. Wilgram's Whiskey. Deal 25% more normal damage. Uh, but reduce your maximum health. 25% extra normal damage is huge. That's a lot. I think that's pretty good. Alright, we got Savage Helmet. We got... Yeah, we got alchemic stuff again as well. Yeah, we got a hat and a coat. What does that even look like? The alchemic stuff. It's hmm. interesting. What about the hat? <laughs> oh, it's like those... It's crazy, crazy glasses. That looks pretty cool. I do kind of like those. Alright, but we'll stick with what we had, obviously. Alright, cool. Deliver those. And let's now go to the Priestess again. Loading. For some reason it takes a while. Alright, we're good. Let's get up there. The movement speed talisman is actually pretty good. Um, for these lo longer distances a little bit. 10% more speed is useful. But we only have so many slots, so... I prefer something else. All right, let's go back to um, we had this one. What was this one again? 1.5 times multiplier to the chance of causing effects. Don't think we need that. Dodge further. Goes mad of bloodlust. Oh, yeah. Blocking will not negate damage, but will deal any damage taken back to the attacker. That could be really good. Um, wait, a drunkard. Be better at handling your drinks, lowering negative effects they feel by 25%. That is good. Less negative from uh, the bruise. I think we'll just go for this one again and um, and this one, which we had before. Cool, 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 cool. Alrighty then. And now let's go back to Galena. Do we have anything to sell? 
actually, no, we do not have anything to sell. Um, we might be able to buy some more stuff again. We got plenty of glint, so... Come take a look. Oh, sweet. Um, yeah, let's buy this. Is there another item added to the store that I'm missing? Oh, there's like a 24 spellblade rooms. That's a lot. How expensive is that? It's 50 per room times 24. So it's what, 1200? 1200 rooms. Each one gives one dust, so it's 24 dust. I'm trying to like figure out if it's cheaper to buy the to buy like the um, the tier one ones. I don't think it's cheaper. How many dust do you get from the blue? Six. You get six from those. Come take. And the six are worth 300 in there. <clears throat> so, let's say 1,200 of these, that's four. So that would also be 24 dust. All right, so that's the same. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. I'm, I should get the dual wielding talisman. 20% more damage. Let's buy that one. We finally have the glint to do it. Do we need anything else from here? Um, I have nine bells already. Yeah, we don't need that. Alright, good. My craking back. Alright, let's go back to the priestess again. Let's see if we can... If we can use that talisman. Kind of depends on how many slots it takes. If it takes one slot, then that's freaking amazing. If it takes two or more, then that will be unfortunate. And I don't know if I want to use it. This book of scripture has unlocked so Let's see, where is it? This one? It does use two, okay. Hmm. Is it worth it? Hmm. We don't necessarily need this one. And... This one has been really useful. Reducing the poise damage taken while blocking. But I guess 20% more damage... ...is better. So let's do that. Alright, we're gonna be very strong. It's gonna be good. Uh, could we upgrade our weapon again? Or did we need... Um, did she need tools? Did she need forge tools to upgrade any further? What do you I think she needed something. Yeah. Needs more tools to make those upgrades, unfortunately. And none of these. Yep. Okay. So that is that then. And I guess we can put the, the remainder of the glint into Spellblade. We should do that. Put all of it into Spellblade. Do we want to use the frost? Because right now we got we got a, we got four different ones, and we only three attacks to assign them to. And there's even a fifth one. We got Temporal, Frost, Lightning, and Fire. I don't use the blocking Spellblade ability. I like never use that one. So it, it really is only up to... It's really between f attack and dodge. 
is what is important for me. Uh, right now we have that one. Which does 52 damage for attack. It's really good. Mm, and we have the temporal one for phase, for dodge. Chill step leaves behind that wall. I don't really see the point of that one. Of leaving that wall. Hmm. I guess we can put eyes on the block, maybe, instead of the fire. Take no poise damage and block most damage considered unblockable while holding block. Okay, so we'll basically absorb any type of damage. That is useful. After a successful block, a burst of flame is spreads from you for three, me uh, for three meters, dealing 66 damage. Is immobilize enemies. Hmm. Effect is removed when they take damage. Oh, I see. Interesting. Reflect 70% of the damage that you block back to the attacker. That temporal one is also really good for the blocking. I think I'm just going to keep it as is. Uh, is it worth upgrading this one? Let's see. Travel well, young knight. How much could we do? We go to level 5, which would be 3.4 in temporal. Which basically... Nothing. That ain't much who the blocking on temporal is really good reflect a hundred percent damage back on level five and then we could probably upgrade that even higher and higher uh, I'm gonna go for the lightning though let's level that one up twice we'll do that because that's my attack ability there you go put all the glint in there Maybe I should have saved it for future upgrades and whatnot for armor, but I think my spell blade be stronger is also uh, really, really, really useful, obviously. And I think now it is time to go fight um, the bosses at Radix, I guess, because I'm not sure where to go for um, for that cult. I'm really not sure where to go for that. Hmm. I guess I can try to walk around Radix a little bit first and then we'll try the, the bosses. Because I would like to do that side stuff. But I've spent so many hours in this place already. Like, not even in this playthrough, in other playthroughs that I've been playing on my own. I spent so much time in Radix, and I've never found this place. I've never seen it. Because I never did that mission. I never found- I never, um... I never collected the fruit. Um... Let's go up here. See if we can find anything over there. Nothing there. The tower? Probably not. Let's go this way. C 
secret you know, wall or something. <laughs> nice. Get wrecked. Elf rune. Oh, there's something there. Maybe. It's a bigger rock. I gotta look in places that I don't expect it to be in. Because again, I've spent so much time in this place already. I, w I would have no idea where to look. So I gotta try to find a very odd place, I guess. to do the heavy attack. Now this is where we've been before. Don't see anything over here. Hmm. Hey, where did you come from? Where the hell did you come from? Down here? Nothing there, is there? Or did that one walk from over here? Up here is where Sir Gideon is. Maybe it's within the bramble as well. Maybe we have to pass through the bramble, which hurts us. But there's like one location where... I don't know, there's a secret door or something. That could be it, maybe. Because I've never been really inside the bramble. Because of Jesus. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Well, that does a lot more damage than I thought it would. Okay. We've been into the Baramble a little bit during searching the fruit, though, and it didn't insta kill me like this time. So maybe some locations do more damage than others? Question mark? Let's see. Let's get around this way. Oh, almost fell off. See anything from up here either. Nothing special. Already searched this location before. I don't see anything in the bramble either. Maybe we can only see it from down there. I'm very slow with my heavy attacks. Maybe I do need a little bit of haste on my weapons. If only for the heavy attacks to be a little faster. Oh, Sir Gideon is gone. Okay. I was hoping maybe I could talk to him again. Oh, 
Where did my glint go? I don't see my glint. Did we lose it? It wasn't that much, pretty sure. Oh no, I see it, okay. Very good. Okay, so this right here is death immediately. Maybe there's like a secret pop or something. It's trying to... Doesn't hurt... Oh, it hurts me a little bit there. So there's a bit of damage there, but not too much. Maybe I'm completely wrong about this. But I suppose it would make sense because the fruit was in this area, right? The fruit was in this area, so... Which is the antidote to the poison... That that... Cult lady is supposed to have. So, in a way, that would make sense, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's get up here. see anything from here either. There's nothing. Yeah, I'm completely lost. As in, no idea where to find this cult. Definitely not in an obvious spot, that's for sure. Or maybe it is so obvious... ...that you don't even think to look there. Get it in plain sight, maybe. Don't think I want to fall down that way. Go this way again. Wow. Last time we were looking over here, we didn't have any healing left to do this fight. So that's why I went back now. Alright. Anything else here? This is where that special item was that we needed for going to the boss, which we haven't done yet. Get up here. And 
I know there's that item over there, but I'm not even gonna try. anything over here. I think so. go down that way. We'd have to go the other way around. Run away from these dudes. Can't be bothered fighting them. Hmm. Is this tricky? There's a lot more over on that side as well to explore. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Oh, I'm stuck. Please for a second. I got no clue. Can't go into the water, otherwise we'll drown. That to happen. <laughs> uh, anything over here, maybe? There's a shortcut up here. Let's go. Uh, let's go all the way up. Then it's gotta be on this side somewhere, or it is very, very, very well hidden. around see if I can find anything in the distance I don't need to really see anything all right heal I remember being here a while back and thinking like it's a little bit of a weird open area. I don't think we should jump down there. I doubt it will be in a place like that. I'm still wondering if we should jump down that way. Can we fall down here? And will we survive? Nope. Well, it was worth a try. Then I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's get my glint back. It wasn't that much, but I do want it back. Let's get it back and then we're gonna fight the boss. We've wasted enough time already. There's 
not the best route to where we died, but it will do. Oh, Jesus, I forgot about that one. That scared me. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Fight this dude again. Alright, and there's my gland. Sweet. Alrighty then. There is an item down there. There's gotta be a way to get down to that area somehow. Maybe that is the boss area. Maybe all this time I've been looking for the, for the right location. And it's just down into the boss location, who knows. Guess we're just gonna have to give it a shot. Um, but first, let's go back to the bell. Because we're gonna wanna do this boss fight with full health and healing bells. Let's go do the boss fight, everyone. Finally! After all this time. Let's get in there. Hopefully it will go well. So this boss is two different ones. We'll have to fight two at a time. So that will be interesting. Look at them. Look at these skelly boys. Maybe these are part of the cultists. Who knows? There they are. This does not look like the area I saw from uh, from high up. It's definitely a different location. But maybe there's a clue or something. All right, let the boss battle begin. Heal, heal, heal. Oof. Nice. All right, we're good. Well, they'll open up a gate. Uh, what is that? A thrashing rhyme rhythm explodes from the flowering vasculature. As it produces it, there is enough time to watch its contents wither away into nothingness. What? So that item that we had broke and is destroyed does that mean that we messed up a quest we still have that one quest we still have that one
It does not make me feel good. But we have Blood Runner now. After killing an enemy, you gain 20% uh, speed boost for 16 seconds. Interesting. We got another healing bell permanently. Nice. Got a new armor set. Any overhealing you receive will be added to your damage. Uh, to the damage of your next attack up to 25% of your maximum health. Oh, cool. That's interesting. What's up here then? We are after an elixir. I think that's supposed right. to be down here Something somewhere. Is wrong. There's anger here. Rage. It's heavy. Desperate. Really? What do you mean? Marveth. I can hear him pounding in my head. It's like he's beating against the crumbling walls of a prison. It isn't safe here. We should leave. We have to get that elixir. All of the doubts. All of the unanswered questions. There's Moro again. The bro that was at the beginning of this place. His hands are shaking and his face is flushed. The shimmer forms on the corners of his eyes. To have stumbled so long without guidance. You notice the liquids churning in the vat. The substance is thick with a spongy decay. And it has an odor of sickening fermentation. Moro, wait a moment. Now oh. I take the reward for my conviction. Uh-oh. I wouldn't do that if I were you. He dunks his hand and brings them separately to uh, desperately to his lips and drinks. Are you all right? It's beautiful. I can finally see how everything Kaizid Elon Emati. Uh, are you all right? Oh. Emati. Emati. Well, that can't be good. Uh-oh. Wait, we take damage over time by it being close to him? Interesting. I'm sorry, bro. You're gonna have to go. Oh, the chest is locked. Giving the elixir to Lawrence would only seal his fate. It has become a tainted conduit to Maveth. So we filled and Lauren's will. Maybe not. The rumors mention purification. The potency may be diminished, but the Azure Flare could still purify the corruption within the elixir. We what? may still salvage it. What if you're wrong and we can't save him? We won't know unless we try. Our only option is to stick to the plan and find the Azure Flare. All right, collect the sample. And there's a Can chest over there. Night. The weight inside that chest is unbearable. The weight inside that chest is unbearable. If you say so. What's that? Oh, a sigil. Ah, okay. One of the sigils that we needed. Okay, cool. So we defeated the boss. That's cool. Um... We have yet to find that cultist location, though. <laughs> Haven't had any luck finding that one down here somewhere. Fortunately. Hmm. And that item broke. So I wonder if I was supposed to do something with that item somewhere. And by going into this boss room... Ah, uh, yeah, I lost it. Or maybe it's supposed to break for some reason that I just don't understand. But yeah, I have no idea where to go for that cult. I can't even begin to think of where... Where it would be. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I'm done in this location. For now, at least. Walls do something unnatural to sounds here. Be hearing those screams long after we're gone. Morrow didn't make it. Even a verdant deserves more than roots and rubble. We should honor him by leaving this place far behind us. <laughs> Honoring by leaving, huh? All right. Uh, let's see. We got 13,000 glint. Nice. That's really good. We got the sigil that we needed. So then now we can... Um, I guess the next thing to do is to find and defeat the Flare Knight. And we still have the mission for the cultists, the Dusk Dreamers cultists. I really not got no clue of where that would be though. I mean, that area that that area that it shows uh, that, that's like down in that pit. I think that's where we need to go. I think that is the location where we need to go. But I have no idea how you would even get there. Don't know. Go back to the Star Spire first. Um, so we can spend the uh, glint, I guess, on on some uh, spellblade abilities again. So we won't be able to upgrade our weapon or armor quite yet. We need the Ferrum dude for that. To be able to do any of those upgrades. But we can spend it all on the spellblade abilities. Which will make us a little bit more powerful again. Let's see. So let's just upgrade the electricity one, I think. Level it up to level 10. Not that much of an increase there. Only plus 10 damage. I guess better someone than nothing. And then I guess we can do this one as well. There you go. Doesn't do much, but an extra 0.3 seconds of the <laughs> of that dodge thing. It may help, it may not. We'll find out, I guess. And then I guess we go to the flare forks now. I would really like to find this cultist. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll ask around if anybody knows in the Discord. Or if anybody watching right now knows the answer, perhaps. Then uh, feel free to let me know. Um, but for now, let's go to the Flare Forge. Let's see if we can fight that dude. Because that's the guy from the thumbnail that I use for this uh, live stream. And that is a fight I am not gonna like. I'm not gonna like fighting that guy. The last time that I did, um, it took me <laughs> a lot of tries. But I kind of know what I'm supposed to be doing during the fight now, so maybe it will go a lot better now. Who knows? Let's... we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go up. And fight the Flare Knight. I really like this boss battle in terms of the way it looks. It's a really tough one, but in terms of the way it looks, I think it's pretty freaking awesome. Look at this.
Oh yeah, he a badass. Alrighty then. <clears throat> Let's go for the extra damage, lower health slightly. Let's go. Need to heal. Quick. Ooh. Boom. Good damage. Ooh. That was so close to dying. Nice. Wow. I am way more powerful than I was last time. <laughs> Last time it took me like 20 tries at least. How am I beating him so quickly now? I'm such... I'm so much more powerful. Oh, what's Aura doing with that piece of the flare? A piece of the Azure flare floats above her hands. This should be enough, Knight. Enough to bolster the elixir. And enough to... To what? Ara turns away from you. Enough to save Lawrence, I mean. Okay. That a thing of torment holds such splendor. What's he gonna do? I think he was gonna try to destroy it, if I'm not mistaken. The Ferrum is hunched <clears throat> is hunched in his fingers position to keep the flare from going out. With a gentle motion he closes his fingers around the flame until a thin wisp of smoke fades into nothingness. Are you alright? I will remain here a little longer. But I did not forget our agreement. Find me along the dock once you desire to depart. Alright. Oh, and there's a chest there. Probably with another sigil. It feels like it's pulling me toward it. It's the second half of the sigil, I suppose. Testament bell. Sigils of forsaken gods. Lawrence quickly. Once we're in Starspire, we can add a portion of the flare to the elixir. All right, sounds good. Let's go. Some more Sacramite Sliver, nice. Anything else back here? Anything else that might be missing? You never know. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, yeah, but this fight was a lot easier. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be this easy with my current gear equipped. I mean, I have upgraded it as much as is possible. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it should be more difficult, actually. I feel like it uh, maybe should. I'll uh, take a. I'll talk to the devs maybe later and uh, see what they think. Because that was, that fight was less than a minute, I think. That went really quickly. It did so much damage. Right, let's go down. That was really insane, the amount of damage that it did. But that's also because I know how the game works and I, I kind of know what I need, I suppose, to, to be powerful. Like the different weapon combinations and whatnot. Though I probably, I probably don't have the best weapon combination ever, but... It's still pretty good. It's a little laggy for some reason. Oh yeah, we still haven't found a way to open up that gate over there, have we? Yeah, we need to reach that from the other side somehow. 
Maybe I'll give that another try some other time. After everything, is repudiation still a type of striving? He glances up at the grand entrance of the Flare Forge. Alright. Well, let's get back to Star Spire. We finally have what we needed. We needed to go to Radix to find the Elixir. And then we needed to go to the Flare Forge to find a piece of the Flare to purify the elixir because the elixir is the only thing that can save our mentor Lawrence from a certain death and now we have it now we should have all the pieces that we need to save him it's gonna be awesome he's gonna be a-okay let's get up here Immediately get the Lawrence. Do we? How much glint do we have right now? Eight thousand. Pretty cool. And now that we have the Therum brought back with us, the Star Spire, we can upgrade our gear and weapons more. That's gonna be good. Lawrence. Oh, there's Galena. The elixir. Have you brought it? Craking Tannen, the fool! Should have known better than to have you chase some rumor. There are many markets, or perhaps other settlements even. Our focus should have been elsewhere, on anything else. Galena, breathe. You craking knights! Pretending your courage doesn't have a cost for the rest of us! She pauses and closes her eyes. Uh, you watch as she, as she slows, focusing on her breath. Breathing. I am sorry, Knight. There are so many paths, yet they all lead me helplessly here. Running her hands together, she looks over your shoulder at something across the room. It's all right, Galena. I found the elixir. Lysus, forgive me. I shouldn't have doubted you. It's a horrible thing, all of this. The days have run together and I... Well, it doesn't matter. This wretched elixir. Is there anything I should know? Um. Hmm. No. Take a break, Galena. You've done great. Then see to your mentor, Knight. Who'd have known the embers of that fire would be so far reaching? Yeah, because we should be fine. Did you know the sand tortoise is one of the few creatures able to live in the eastern lava fields? And that they fend off predators by throwing heated stones at them? And that spitter worms, while aggressive with their corrosive spit, also leave behind a residue essential to six types of cave-growing flowers? Interesting, I guess. <laughs> Alright, Lawrence, we're here. Broach Lawrence. That was kind of you, Knight. Sometimes it's nice to pretend faces in the clouds are real, if only for a moment. A little hope won't hurt her. Besides, this will work. All right. Give me the segment of the flare. Give her the Azure Flare segment. The segment of the Azure Flare floats before her. She closes her eyes and extended her hands. It's just like the petals of a flower. You don't have to force it. The filaments of the brighted crystal flake away, exposing a vibrant blue flame. Aura guides a small portion from the rest. The elixir. Hold it out and don't move. Extend the elixir. The air in the room goes cold. Uh, with closed eyes, Aura strains against the weight of something, her face twisting with effort. No, it's not true. I don't want any of this. Wait. The separated portion becomes a snaking thread of flame. As Aura lowers it gently into the vial, uh, light breaks beneath the surface and puts shadow along the walls. The fragile glass oscillates between boiling and freezing against your fingers. Now, 
Make sure he drinks all of it. Approach Lawrence. His face is beaded with sweat and his presence gives off the, impre uh, the impression that he is in two places at once. His body rebels and fights you, limbs flailing weakly at nothing. You tilt his head back further. The... <coughs> Mist. <coughs> Pain fills his face until finally the elixir is gone. Their faces. I can still see them. <coughs> All right. Poor Moro transformed almost instantly, remember? I don't want us to get ahead of ourselves. What happened? The elixir might have worked. What happened with the elixir? There were whispers all around me. They were inside my head and they said horrible, terrible things. Things they claimed I wanted, but I promise I would never. I don't know how Cathexis managed as long as he did. All right, let's go. So that's all good for now then? You saved? It seems. An honored bond. Perhaps I've been too hard on you both. Your route is not an easy one. Sacrifice after sacrifice, always giving. But Lawrence has already offered so much. And I am kept awake thinking that maybe there's a part of him that actually wants to. Well, that's enough of that. Come, do not spare me, Knight. The elixir may have worked. He is resting. She peers around the room of the house, looking from wall to wall. Ah, how little it takes for the color to return to a room. That is good to hear, Knight. Starspire is forever grateful. Some questions. Go on, then. Uh, Lawrence mentioned a mist. Ah, yes. The specters of regret loom over all of us, Knight. Should you ever find yourself lost in them, lean on those around you. All right, what will we do now? Rest and consider my role in things. Besides, rumors here spread faster than the sands. If Lawrence is healed, there will be talk of celebration. I must stamp that out. Nothing should pry him from that bed until absolutely necessary. <laughs> Alright, bye. Cool. Awesome. We saved Lawrence. But now what? What is next? I guess we have that sigil, so we should go back underneath the... Um, we should go back to the Nexus, I guess? That's probably our next objective. Oh, wait. First, go to him, right? Yeah, present the fragments. Yeah, seldom needs to uh, work them. I'm not gonna read all that. Uh, okay, Tupi is gonna speak again. You have done well, Cleansing Knight. Another sigil brings us closer to a world reborn. You should be proud. All right, he gives the sigil back. I see. Yes. Yes. I agree with Seldom. There is an oddity about you, Knight. One which was not present before. I encountered Mathoth at Radek's stronghold. And the corruption told you his name, did he? What of the spirit from before? The corruption which fled from within Ubani? Has it been dealt with? Haven't seen it. Hmm. When tending to my grotto, I've learned not to linger on flowers born from weeds. Should they not be plucked, you risk vicious weeds as far as the eye can see. But I've no reason not to trust a knight. Seldom, the orb. All right, giving us the orb. What is this? That is the Chrysum Orb. Acquiring it was an awful nuisance, but it will aid us greatly in future endeavors. Okay, look into the orb. 
Peering into the orb, you watch as a shroud descend upon a distant figure. Quickly the figure becomes 2 and then 10 and then 20 and, bef and before you can blink the image has transformed into a silhouette of, of a grand city veiled in delicate cloth. Okay. Go now. Hot. Deliver the orb to Mentis. It will aid him in combating corruption within the dunes and will ensure our path to the next sigil. All right. Now I've other matters to address. Please, Knight, do what you were made to do. Cool. Alright, there was a lot of like thoughts that I would have to read. I don't really feel like doing that right now. <laughs> Which is why I just kind of skipped through them. Right. That's good. That's good. We can go into the Nexus and deliver that one. Uh, but first. Hello. Look at that. We have a new forge area unlocked now. A hammer gains weight under the gaze of spectators. Give them time, they'll warm to you. Given our history, Ooh. I struggle. Elite Ferrum armor. Solace in your words. But I hold hope that there are those who would mirror your openness. Now, what is this armor set? Let's see. Uh, the Elite Ferrum Helmet. Your attacks have a 5% chance to activate Spellblade on your next attack. When triggered, this effect has a 2 second cooldown. So it's an automatic Spellblade? On the next attack sometimes, there's a chance of that happening. That's interesting. Ooh, that looks pretty sweet. Oh wow, I do like that armor set. That looks really good. Oh heck yeah. I don't I'm not a huge fan of the um of the um set bonus. But it looks really good that set. Nice. What can I help? Alright, can we now upgrade this one? Higher for my armor or uh, uh which one do I wanna do? Hmm. I suppose I wanna upgrade my armor more first. To this one. There you go. We got a purple piece. Nice. Which means we have another slot. Spellblade damage, special attack damage. Uh, let's do um, let's do spellblade damage. There we go. Nice. So now we're even stronger again. Very good, very good. And then to the nexus, I suppose. There's not really much else to do at the moment, I think. Well, except for trying to find that cultist area, but... Again, I have no idea how to do that. No idea where to find that. Let's get down this way. Back to the dunes of creation. Are we gonna have to activate another one of these portals? Or do we have to go through that one again? Let's activate this one, maybe? No? This one? Oh, yes. Can I ask you a question? Of course. She peers down at her hands and lets her gaze linger there. Why do you invite so many outsiders to Starspire? What do you mean? The Ferrum, the Alchemect. It's like putting a candle beside a stack of papers. And what if the candle makes it easier to read? But you would move it when you left. You would extinguish it to be sure. Others depend on the light, Aura. But there's still a chance that everything burns. How do you know? How do you keep it safe? Where would Lawrence be without your help? But you don't understand. I have my own. Besides, you could have done it without me. No, we did it together. 
Well, I could have done it without her, probably, but whatever. <laughs> Except the part where she put the flare into the elixir, I suppose. I'm not sure if I could have done that. She gazes at her reflection within the ornate metal work of a nearby pillar. I guess you're right. Alright. Cool. She's definitely hiding something, chat. And yeah, let's enter. Sigils of the Forsaken Gods. The spirits from before. There's not even an echo of them. Quest accepted. A bygone accord. All right. There's no confusion, no desire, or comfort. It's all just hollow. And all because of... Because of what? She turns her gaze just beyond the pylon and lets, lets it linger upon the giant fissure which spli splits the ground in two. Ara? The fraying. Can you feel it? I didn't know this would happen. Her gaze remains fixed upon the fissure. Ara, we have to cross the gap. As if shaking herself free from something, she peers uh, first to you, then towards the runic pylon. If you listen, you can hear it. Like slow moving water, or the wind over sand. The pylons resonate with it, mana imbued into the stone. Maybe I can borrow some and teleport us across. Have you seen this before? Have you done this before? Well, <clears throat> no. But it can't be harder than just asking nicely, right? I need time to channel energy from the pylon. The barrier will weaken as I draw from it and the depraved... I'll keep them off of you. Alright. Oh. Alright, they're not that strong, luckily. I just need a little. I promise I won't keep it. <laughs> there are one hits. One or two hits sometimes. All right, now we teleport it across, I guess, somewhere. Let's heal. She keeps her back to you, her focus pouring over the carved runes along the wall. An extended hand, a cry in the darkness. You teleported me down the gap, didn't you? His voice echoed through the fissure. I tried to block it out, but I couldn't. You can see them, right? His words in the stone. He is here. Mavith? Following our footsteps in the sand. How do we get out of here? The summit. I've seen it. I can teleport us there. What about Mavith? Um, can you focus enough to get us there? The source of their conflict lies at the temple. If I focus on that, I can get us there. All right. Was it worth it? What other choice was there? I didn't hear anything. There, I see him. Ara seems to be going crazy. She's hearing things. Oh, hello. Ooh. I forgot how uh, For so powerful long, she's supposed to be. All there was. <laughs> A world of shadows and walls. I always believed they were impenetrable. 
that they could never fall. What happened? I ran away. Flew until there was nothing left. I promised myself I wouldn't stop until I couldn't see them anymore. She turns her gaze upon the barrier blocking the entrance into the temple. And for so long I thought it would be different. I thought they were only down here. Ara? But even if you can't see them, they're there. Keeping people out. Keeping them isolated. She extends her arms to the barrier. I should have realized a long time ago running doesn't do any good. That walls can only be knocked down. Something is going on. Only to be spurned, only to be turned away. Are they stuck? I think the enemies might be stuck. Knight, I can't, I can't bring it down. Please, please, come on. I believe in you, Aura. You can do this. What do you mean you couldn't do it? You did it. Good job. I was content to watch you break upon this pinnacle. To relish in that delicious realization of limitation. Yet what boldness is privilege to the desperate. To stand before me in such a form. You drape yourself in delusion, child. It seems we have that in common. But for all your power, for all your presence, your hands still tremble. How much longer until... Oh? The orb in your custody makes you held of reconciliation long past. Now come, I know you seek passage into the holy city. Holy city? To be consigned to such a trivial application, the Chrysum Orb wilts in the custody of your order. Its return to my domain can only mean you'll seek to rescind the deal between us. A deal between you and a remnant order? The barrier around issue law endures through perpetuity. It keeps fettered that foul duplicity which festers within the city. For this feat, your order granted me certain liberties. Liberties whose sheen has gone dim with age. Return the Chrysomor to me, and I'll provide you entrance into that vulgar place. Hmm. What if I don't? With the return of the Chrysom Orb, I restore my dominion. And through me, the path toward those sigils of an age foregone becomes clear. I have some questions. After my attention is wasted on this. Why was Ishalar sealed away? The deceit upon which the city was built became something tangible, material, due to the Night Plague. Its birth was slow, but a virulent mist rose to catch the city by its throat. Were there survivors? What few remained within the city were sacrificed. A command given by your order. Hmm. 
Fracturing in the dunes. A paroxysm to be disregarded. The mass twists its head towards something unseen. We will have control. Alright, well, I guess we don't have another option of than uh, giving the orb, so let's give it. To have been separated so long. As the orb floats before his mass of twisted limbs, he examines it closely. Atrophy has occurred in absence. A duration is required to enliven the orb again. The way will unfold when ready. Right. If you disregard motion, the mass flickers his hands. A shroud upon the floor moves quickly, enveloping first your feet and then your hips and chest. Before you can breathe, your entire body submerged into the darkness. Be mindful of your strings. My strings. What does that even mean? Alright, and we're in bed. What say we strike a deal and refrain from having any more bedside conversations in the near future? Lawrence! You're awake! And from what I hear, that's due only to your valiant efforts, Knight to be. Thank you. Truly. Knight to be? You mean knight. Ah, yes. <laughs> Forgive me slipping into old comforts. You've earned that title and more, Knight. Galena did most of the heavy lifting anyway. To think you both should have to extend yourself such on my behalf. As a smile moves across his face, you feel there is much effort behind and it. And yet it seems, despite everything, your sense of impeccable timing persists. <laughs> what do you mean? The Star Spire Festival has begun. A celebration with food and games waits just beyond our doorstep. But I have so many questions for you. That is a hill to summit another day. I will heed no questions until you thoroughly enjoyed the festival. Is this really the time to be celebrating? A storm is brewing, yes. But though they cannot name it, the people of Starspire feel it too. So they gather around what levity lingers, surround what candles still produce light. We should honor their wishes, Knight. Often it is the people who know most what they need. Right. Should relaxing be too strict an order for you, uh, seek out Steadston, the lamplighter, along Starspire's lower terrace. I hear he's been put in charge of preparing the firework display. Ooh, fireworks. And I would very much like to avoid igniting another part of our town. Hmm? <laughs> Why do we even have a festival? It's been dedicated to many things over the years. A bountiful yield, the construction of the church, the welcoming of a nascent remnant knight. With each incarnation, we're invited to drift again into times of playfulness, into peace. The festival is just what you see on the surface. The flowering of a community whose roots run deep. What is there to do this year? The snap of the sails on the wind. That unfamiliar set of ruins on the horizon. I'll not spoil the secrets of Discovery Night. All right. He leans in as if to keep something from the rest of the empty room around you. Though, I am looking forward to admiring the modifications Tannen made to our old telescope. How are you feeling? For a moment, his face seems to take on a strange shape. So many times were we back in that sanctum night. Again and again, raising arms against that beast. It's strange. Now that I've recovered, though the dream lingers, it is no longer I who falls, but you. I'll see the Setson then. Wander and get lost a little. Now is the time to truly appreciate what we have here in Starspire. 
Right. The Festival of the Spire. Nice. So, uh, oh, I don't know why there was or like food sprints from him. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yes, we did it. He is good. He is healed. We saved our mentor, and now we have a festival in Star Spire, apparently. That's pretty cool. Ooh. I like the music. Sounds good. Sounds good. But I think I will be doing that some other time. Because I did what I wanted to accomplish today, which is beating those... Um, was beating those bosses at Radix and at the Flare Forge. And we've also beaten a couple of other bosses which were way under leveled for us. Um, but uh, yeah, we did we did really good. We did really good today. We have accomplished a lot, gained a lot, and um, we are much more powerful because of it. And next time we will continue, we will play some more of, uh, <clears throat> of Sansevara. And we'll uh, see what this festival is all about. That should be fun. And I can only imagine that after the festival, things will pick up again. And we'll uh, probably go to some new island. Probably to that Ishalar. Because Mentes mentioned needing the orb to... Um, and it needed time to power up. To get rid of the barrier around Ishalar. So that's probably that city that we saw in the desert with like that greenish barrier surrounding it. That's probably the Ishalar that he's talking about. So I will likely be going to that after the festival next time. Thank you guys so much for being here hanging out. Um, if you want to get Sansevara for yourself, you can get it on Steam, Epic, and GOG. If you go to Epic, you can use the code BOOSTER on checkout. Uh, there should be a 40% discount across all of those, uh, is my understanding anyway. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the stream, if you are a Steam friend and you have the game wishlisted on Steam, I might even gift it to uh, one or two of my Steam friends. So uh, yeah, there you go. Make sure to wishlist it and uh, add me on Steam. Booster Doom is uh, my name on Steam there, same as my Twitch. So uh, be sure to, uh, to add me there if you would like a chance to get access to this game for free. Thanks for being here, everyone, of the day, night, and hope to see you all tomorrow for some more.